This episode of Speakers of Heidelin is made possible by our generous patrons. Special thanks to our supreme and master speakers, Omeji Cat Comet, Erisu Yamakawa, Alex Franco AV, Winebow Brood, Aurora Templeton, Psyche, Azuta Starbreeze, Cletus Oreo, Nina Grimstarter, Lily Black, Bob CZ, Mikta Rabentau, Anathos Moonscar, Pamela Isley, Alain Real Maximus, Codrith Novelis, Mira Miri, Celesto Notrell, Lazy Boy, Luke Osborne, Pandalu, Storm Arrow, Tex, Kylin, Arthur Law, Barry Danderard, Cypup, Spencer Christmas, Noi Fafnir, Celine Deloon, Edwin, Webster Wolf, Severa, Circa Barakil, AJ Brainswords, and Cass Ram, Ventos Tia, Ryark Forbear, Late in the House, Tony, Arcadia Lunashine, Umbral Wind, Framboise Sakura, Fergie, Fudge, and Sephiel. Support the show and become a patron today at patreon.com slash speakersxiv. Thank you. Good evening, Aorsians. Welcome to Speakers of Fidel in episode 394. I am Lakeel Bravestone, and I'm joined today by Georgi Wiston, Mela Vanadar, and Rolodes. Hello. Hello. Hi, hi. It is March 16th, 2024. No. No. March 23rd. Okay. Says no, it on screen. screen. Which show notes do I have open? Oh, uh, I see. Okay. You have the right ones, but you've not changed. <laughs> That's for fine, then. That's okay. God's sakes. Okay, no, well, it's, it... not the tw- it's not March 26th, Lakeel. I know that only March 23rd. Can... Oh, sh- March 23rd, okay. I'm March 23rd. My brain so. is rotting! Okay, that's it's it. March yeah, it. 23rd, 2024. Do we have to do it again? No, let's do no. it. We'll keep it. No. Anyways, welcome. Today we're going to talk about PAX <laughs> East. Uh, we were covering PAX East just a few hours ago. Um, the, um, uh, there was a few, uh, very important reveals there, so we'll obviously talk about that. Um, also patch 6.58 released, um, which is cool. Uh, we'll talk about that as well. <laughs> that we'll is read, true. That's yeah. true. It's cool. <laughs> it's very cool. Uh, so we'll go through the patch notes there as well, see if there's anything interesting. Um, there. We'll also be reading Mogmail, speakersexvideo.com slash Mogmail. Uh, stay tuned for the post show. We'll be answering questions from the syndicate, and we might finally get the end is at least in sight for the Pokemon shit, but uh, we'll get there. Hmm. Chad is correct that the current uh, image in the slideshow is incorrect. That's true. Also, the oh, intro yeah. would have that too, wouldn't it? So everything of that yeah. has to change. So that's interesting that you're saying that because that's our next point here. Uh, if you're watching on twitch uh our our username has changed it is no longer twitch.tv slash speakers of heidelin and you bet i'm going to say that at the end of the show today uh <laughs> so it's twitch.tv slash speakers xiv to put us more in line with our mm. our other um usernames i mean now it's speakers mm-hmm. xiv everywhere so you can always remember mm. uh where uh, you know yeah where we yeah, are they banned our other channel so we had to make an alt that's sort. true yeah 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 mm. we, we we're, finally got banned but um, for they Smurfing. were kind enough to let us keep all of our subscribers <laughs> that's true yeah. yeah so thanks uh thanks thanks jeff thanks jeff we made a deal with jeff um yeah. so there you go that's a twitch.tv slash speakers xiv actually makes it easier to remember as well because it's li- kind of like dot tv speakers xiv Ah. There it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very good. Okay, well, on that note, let's move on uh, to recent events. And in recent events, we start with a weird story. Yay! Yay! We're a free to play game, <laughs> maybe even a mobile game. Well, no, no. This is this no. so FFXIV coins has been added as a new currency, but it is for Xbox players specifically. Mm-hmm. This is how you buy game time or optional cosmetic items. Now, 
it's I was a little confused by this, but it, I think it makes sense now. They couldn't use Krista, which already exists, because I think Xbox wants a cut. Yeah, and that might be what I we're seeing here, because otherwise I don't see why Krista wouldn't just be used here. So there must. Is this something Xbox players? Because I I know when we talked about Xbox Live and the subscription, mm -hmm. we came at it from a perspective as god you've got to pay two things but you guys are mostly like well we already have it and it's fine yeah mm -hmm. is this common in online games on xbox as well where you have a specific xbox currency i feel like it's probably not but not specific but i you can buy currencies on there i, I think destiny 2 you can buy the premium currency um pso2 as well i think you can buy the premium currency it's just a normal premium currency well, uh, that okay. my PC players would buy as well. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just the same thing. You can just do it uh, there. So maybe it's because we don't have a premium currency tied to like the in-game that they had to do it this way. Mm. Yeah, that's possible. I mean, so uh, this is the only way. Is this the only way for Xbox players I to believe get so. to to re is it buy no, game time? Because like, would they unless they have a service just... account? I mean, I, um, yeah, if they have a service account, wouldn't they still just be able to use the Mog Station? Yeah, maybe you're... this is why they do it via Xbox, and then if they go on the website, they can yeah. do it this way. Yeah, I think no, but I think it's like Krista, right? Like, like it. So you're locked. So you go to the Mog okay, Station, so and the only an payment Xbox option player... is f of XIV coin. That's what I think is going to happen. So if you if you're an Xbox player and you buy a mega cheap complete edition of the PC version. You can now Krista stuff, but with if you never buy the PC version, you have to use Mog Coin. No, yes. fast, that's what okay. yeah, yeah, that's um... it's very it's a little bit insidious. I don't really like it very much. Yeah. Um, also, this is predatory in terms of numbers you can buy, whereas Krista you can buy specific value. Yeah. Mm. Also, it's FF XIV coins. That's such a yeah. Yeah. Bad <laughs> naming. Yeah. Like, like what is at least that? Nintendo had play coins for yeah. the 3DS. You know, <laughs> make it sound and like you put. Four, yeah, make it sound like you spent a little time trying to figure out what the system was like. Like FF XIV yeah. coin. That's it. That rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Why didn't you just call it like Chocobo coins or something? Yeah, Nothing. Chocobo I coin. Yeah. Yeah. Or, I mean, if this is. If this is something that was forced upon them, they might not have cared to put that. This is like, a, this is like them being like, like slightly. It's like a, you know, okay, fine, we'll do it, but we won't, we won't give it a good name. We're not going to give it a good name. We're going to give it a really <laughs> bad this, name. Maybe that's a good thing, stupid. though. <laughs> because if it was called, you know, Chocobo coins, maybe people would get behind it more. Maybe they don't want people to get behind it. Huh? I certainly wouldn't want to get behind this. No, well, it feels I think, I think they want me. their game to sell, Mela. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. It's just especially sabotaging. It's just the so price. no, but it's just so odd. On top of everything else that Xbox players have to deal with, that's specific to them. It, I, I'm also interested in. I, the fight. It feels like we're not letting them belong as much. No, I mean this is weird. I this, I mean, yeah, but we do have Krista. We should mention that Krista exists but for Krista, all the other consoles, if I want to buy but that's optional. A twenty-four pound ninety-five pence mount. Yeah, I can buy two thousand four hundred ninety-five Krista, and then I've bought it, and it's fine, and I'm not losing any money. Whereas with this, I have to buy either the three thousand coin bundle, or like the one thousand five hundred coin bundle, then the one that like. So you lose think that about you it, Mela. excess currency, which Actually, is Mela, if you buy the fifteen hundred coin bundle and then the thousand coin bundle, you are saving money. That's yeah, stupid. that's true. This is such an odd. I'd... Yeah, it's so... very confusing. I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe Xbox players are used to this already. Exactly. Like, yeah, so let us know. some other games, possibly. But Mela, uh, you, you use Crystal, right? Or I feel like I, use Chris, I don't use it for my subscription, but if I'm buying optional items, I use Krista because I don't want any kind of jiggery pokery back. with the uh, yeah. I don't I don't want to risk it because I know what, <laughs> what they like. Yeah. Jiggery pokery. <laughs> yeah. I knew so I knew Rollo could not ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. Like, what a phrase. Yeah, because okay, that's, I don't want any of that. That's a PSA for our Xbox players as well. Now, not that you're going to get it now, because. 
you you all you can only buy through this but if for whatever reason you decide to switch to like the pc version and use a debit card or a no a credit card is the worst if you get a chargeback your account is gone and you'll never get it back i'm sorry they don't, they don't play with that shit. Yeah, they're like the oh you didn't pay it up yeah <laughs> it is gone no they'll, they'll take your legs if yeah they yeah Chinese don't mess around break no. your kneecaps yeah. yeah where's my krista bitch <laughs> <laughs> you should have used xiv coins <laughs> i just can we, uh, yeah xiv coins <laughs> can we can we quickly talk about how the payment to coin Oh, transfer yeah. is not equivalent yes incredible so they've, values they've released more. the um the value here so 500 coins you can get for four dollars 99 now if that's like the lowest amount so five now you might think yeah. that if you could get a thousand coins for nine dollars 98 mm -hmm. but no alas no You're paying a one cent one cent convenience fee. Thank you very much. Yep, it adds that's, up that's, over the decades. That's the Xbox cut right there. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> One thousand coins is nine ninety nine. Fifteen hundred coins is fourteen ninety nine. Now you lost two cents. Three thousand coin mm. is twenty nine ninety nine. And oh my god, six cents. Four thousand two hundred coin. Absurd amount. Is it because it's four twenty? Uh, it's yeah. forty one ninety nine. And then. 10,000 coins. Now see here, they've they've actually done some math. It's 99.49. So oh. yay. <laughs> um that was 200 percent value yeah <laughs> oh my god so so you should if you want a thousand coins buy 500 coins twice and you save mm, yeah. a cent so oh but then you kill you risk your bank thinking why are they buying two lots charge of back your account is gone succession mm -hmm. oh. charge back you're gone bye um yeah so I there you go i need to see the value of coins to items as well like is this is it a one-to-one -one for krista or is it like <sighs> I would uh, have to assume it's one to one. That's a, I think it is for dollars. It's not, is it if it's, all right, yeah. if it's one to one for Krista, then one hundred Krista. God help you! You are going to have so much excess cents lost. One Krista Mela is a flat cent. Okay. It's no. About it's always oh, it's, it's point zero one US dollars. Yeah. So I think a yeah. hundred Krista is a is a dollar. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. So it's basically the same. Yes. So. Oh, oh, the Good maximum luck. amount I of just, crystal. I wish you the best of luck. The maximum amount of crystal. This is uh, interesting. Uh, maximum amount of uh, crystal you can have in your wallet is fifty thousand crystal or five hundred. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. Fun fact. So, what's our our list of Xbox <clears throat> player advice now? Is one first the priority? Don't buy the game. <laughs> <laughs> don't buy it. No, oh, you have not said that. Trial. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I, Don't buy oh, yeah. it so you can use the free trial. Yeah. Once uh, yes. you've completed because, Stormblood and everything yeah. you want to do, because you have a lot you... to do. Yes. Before you can get with an asterisk, expansion. though, because you are getting some limitations. But yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah but save a buck it, if yeah. you want to save twenty if bucks. You want, yeah, if you want the best bang for your buck, this yeah. is yeah. our plan. Yeah. And then two, if you do buy it maybe get a cheap pc copy or even so a playstation copy so you can preferably use the mog station mm. no, <laughs> instead no, no. of xiv coins right that's and true. then if yeah. you, if you do have to use xiv coins <laughs> make sure to get the right amount for your yeah what, was, what did you say is it the if you, if you 500 buy coins Buy that coins buy multiple the, times. Yeah, five hundred coins yeah. always. That and just you go know. on or, the website or ten thousand or ten thousand. You know yeah, you're spend you, a lot of yeah, yeah. If you're gonna yeah. merge out, go on the website, look up something. See, it's you know three dollars ninety nine. That's three hundred ninety nine coins, or at least Krista. And mm -hmm. if the ratio is the same, get yourself on Excel, right? <laughs> Add up all the items you want, so you know exactly how much you need, and then work it out because yeah. you. You are going to be left with a heck of a lot of excess coinage in this system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As an example, so, uh, the new items released, the Tonbury attire, is £2.88. So you go. you've got to buy your 500 coins. You've 500 already lost coins. like $3 because unless you're going to buy something else with the other three. It, it's yeah. going to be hell. It's a nightmare. Good luck. Yeah. yeah. You need an so accountant our... for your FFX IV coins. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs>
So there you go. Xbox uh, player advice. Now you know. Like I said, yeah. Don't buy the game. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> no, let's maybe rephrase that. You play the free trial first, and then well, buy the don't game. Don't buy the free trial. Don't buy the. Don't buy the game until the free trial is over. Right. Yes. But right. try and buy it. Try and get the free copy of the starter edition as well, maybe, if mm. you want that. But mm. when that's close to running out, but then you'll still have to buy the complete edition later on. Right. So and then just... remember, if you're min-maxing, if you get a copy of any other platform, you get 30 days. Exactly. Game time. Mm. So if you get a cheap PC copy or like... Wait 30 uh, days, is that, mm. yeah, and then use that. Yeah. Yeah. See, that we're, we teach you the min-maxing, dude. <laughs> we know. Yeah, I got all the trip, you know. Yeah. Uh, okay. So there you go. Uh, good luck, Xbox players. Enjoy your new uh, coin. Um, and remember what we said. You can save a few cents. Um, so there you go. Moving on then to the recent patch, patch 6.58. If you're an Xbox player, you probably shouldn't be watching this because this is yeah, way... Don't, you, don't watch this part. Sorry. No way you've caught up. Get out of here. Don't look at the game and get out of here. <laughs> no, same. Massive spoiler incoming. There's uh, no spoilers. Uh, uh, oh, fuck. I almost, I almost threw out a real spoiler. I was going to make up oh. like a, a, a wild one, <laughs> but uh, okay. Um... Anyways, moving on, uh, here is, uh, here we go. Let's go through the patch notes. Um, here we are. Okay. Okay, nope. so, um, EXP, so let's start with playable content. EXP gained by trust NPCs has been increased in the Tower of Zot, Tower of Babel, uh, Vanaspati, Ketesis, Hyperborea. Wait. What am I reading? XP gain by trust and... Okay, oh, sorry. <laughs> is you leveling? Trust and you leveling trust. Right, right, right. The the ITS scope as well has, has been... Yay! Has my been laziness XP. has paid off just as it did with Shadowbringers. Mm. I've yeah, already you, leveled them like halfway there. Yeah. I don't think I've done much on them with this expansion. I don't want to level them. I don't like trust, man. Yeah, I haven't really touched them. If they level fast expansion. with this kind of thing, I'll kind of... One or two it's runs two, per dungeon is fine. Yeah. Two runs per... NP per trust NPC will get them up a level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's still too many trust. That's, that's, sorry, yeah. sorry, <laughs> sorry, two two runs. Well, sorry, one one dungeon is one level. Is what I meant to say. What what I intended was that you get to the next dungeon once you've done two levels. Obviously, that's fine. I yeah. accept that. Yeah, that's fine. Two times on each dungeon isn't bad for getting them up. That's fine. Yeah. Um, the number of elegant tombstones of causality available as a reward for completing two rows in Wondrous Tales has been increased from 500 to 1,000. Worthless. Yeah, work on your relic. It's good for your relic, though, <laughs> if you're doing relic. It's good relics. for your relic, yeah. you know. Uh, okay, uh, the Abyssal Fracture, so for Battle System, though that's all for playable content updates. For Battle System, the Abyssal Fracture Extreme has been moved from the Raid Finder to the Duty Finder. Um, goodbye, oh, Abyssal please. Fracture. No one cares that, yeah, yeah. The drop rate for the Lynx of Abyssal Grief Flute in the Abyssal Fracture Extreme has been further increased, and the items can also be purchased in exchange for totems for Nesvaz in Rad's at Han, um, for 99 Void Vessel totems. Um, also, a lot of this is just expected stuff from a patch like this. The weekly restriction on receiving unsung blades of Anabaseos from Anabaseos the Twelfth Circle has been removed. Um, the strength of the Echo granted in Pandemonium Anabaseos Savage has been increased, now up to 15%. Um, and that's it for the raid. Um, mm -hmm. All of that expected stuff, not really anything to comment on there. Um, the following adjustments have been made to Thalea. The weekly limit on rewards from treasure coffers has been removed, and the weekly limit on Thalea coins has been removed. So useful. You can farm. You can, you can farm level now. up all your gear as quickly as you want now. I guess if you really want to, I wouldn't get, get your wouldn't coins. Bother, but, it don't you know. matter anymore, man. But get your coins, I guess. <laughs> yeah. 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 Nice uh, for farming glamours, although that also means everyone has a chance every single time. So maybe mm. it doesn't help. Hmm. True. Um, the item required to enhance equipment purchased with elegant tombstones of comedy, Divine Solvent, can be purchased from the following vendors. From Nezvaz, uh, using the Aglaia coin, the Euphrosyne coin, and the Talea coin. So, there this you go. Is the only weapon. useful if, yeah, this is only useful if you want it for the glamour, yeah. because it is already irrelevant 
upgraded mm-hmm. if you have the relic or yeah. the tome or There's... the, the not tome. The, the only uh, one that's better than no, actually, what's what's the relic? Is it six five six six five? Or six six yes six six five yeah. uh, the relic yeah. is six six five yeah well yeah then there's no this will be six six anything. zero yeah not yeah. absolutely the other worth tome weapon the, isn't worth it. the other tome weapon is better than this one exactly yeah mm. um, okay ah. <clears throat> updates to PvP the uh, following adjustments have been made to PvP actions um, oh, yeah. so uh, there's been some big adjustments to Holy Sheltron. Uh, for Paladin. Paladin. Paladin in general has had a few up- updates here. For Holy Sheltron, the barrier effect duration has been reduced from 5 seconds to 4 seconds. An overall nerf, yeah. Uh, the barrier potency has been reduced from 12,000 to 8,000. The unexpected damage dealt to nearby enemies when the effect expires has been increased from 100% nice. of the remaining barrier potency to 150 that's good. That's a good buff. Yes, yes. The Knight's Resolve effect duration has been reduced from 10 to 8 seconds. So, uh, kind of, I don't know. Uh, it's, 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 I, I feel, okay, I want to say something that may be controversial here. Uh-oh. But I feel like no PvP balancing change has felt noticeably different, you know? Mm. Like, oh, you're so right. Yeah. Like, any time, so right. like, I'll see the, uh, maybe it's just the way PvP works in this game, where it's just it's fucking hard to tell what the fuck's going on sometimes in mm. terms of like damage numbers and what you're doing and what you're receiving. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like, like a, a, a summer, you know, like on most PVP games outside of this, if you get killed by a player, you'll get like a damage summary of where the source of damage are. And like, if you're always getting killed by a certain job or something, you know, but yeah, you're right. Yeah, it just feels mm. like sometimes you'll just go down like fifty percent, and you'll not really know why. Yeah, I, I this game needs damage summaries. I think even in PVE stuff. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's it's it can be very hectic. Or sorry, death summaries, I should say. Mm. Um, I don't know. Like I no PVP chains though. It's felt like oh, I can I can tell you know. Aside from like maybe a couple on like durations like, of stuff. Yeah, mm. but um, it, I don't know. It's global just stuff me. sometimes like if they if they ever change like barrier or if they made refresh whatever it's called work mm. properly mm. that would be <laughs> noticeable um, I mean, and certainly in uh, crystalline conflict you notice them a little bit more yeah. but never like enough like i'm not gonna attack a paladin and notice oh yeah that is more damage than before like i i mean that's a white mage uh, I have noticed the nerfs. You know, I remember. You deserve them to be. Shut up! No, I don't. I mean, you, you do get a huge stun. It's a you... long stun too. It's like what, two, three seconds? <clears throat> in front lines, when we've left the barrier, you've already got your LB in the old days. Like, yeah, it was unfair. great. It was great. Yeah. The, okay. The LB stuff I did notice when they changed the LB yeah, charge in, in front lines. Mm-hmm. Uh, but. Yeah, I don't know. I, I should say I did play a lot of PvP, especially Crystal Conflict. Mm-hmm. I, love Crystal. I, I played a lot, and I have, I still play. Mm-hmm. It's um, I don't know. I I'm it, waiting for a new um series, please. We'll probably get like another big rework in Dawn Trail, like they do every now and then. Mm-hmm. So maybe they'll maybe. I they'll... think we need a huge rework of PvP. I think some small things need changing. I think refresh needs to work properly. It has to be able to clear all CCs. God, this no fucking. What. Oh, you know it's no, true. That, that's your thing, Mela. <laughs> yeah, that's like a Mela. So uh, that's a Mela thing. I mean, I agree with Mela, but I'm yeah. not anyway. Wait, do you mean no? You mean it? purify? Purify, sorry, yeah, purify. Yeah, I was like, what? Yeah. It should be able to cure any CC. It's a one-off CC. Well, Mela specifically it's, it's also every wants PvP it, game wants to be able that. to purify um, the like imp status, mm-hmm. which doesn't make anything sense. Anything that anything should be able to do that. Any CC. No. It's a two-second like a transformation. You you should be that should all all CCs should be able to be. I'll, I'll give you slows yeah, and stuns or anything or heavy, whatever. Yeah. But any any LB. I, yeah. Or... I think any tradition. Well, it's not an LB. Um, it's, it's any, tra- any traditional any traditional status effect. I, should, I agree think with. should be covered by it, but yeah. um, I don't think miracle of nature should be. No, that's mm. supposed the only, to like, only things that are within your LB, maybe not because that's your ultimate special thing, but any normal skill that impairs your ability to use 
if you could, if you could purify door, miracle or... nature, it would ruin the skill. The skill would be completely pointless because people would then just have purify ready for a for that status, and it would be over. They, they could just as well just remove. So it's a pretty long you, cooldown too. Yeah, you know, feel it's a long other, ass cooldown. Well, change the cooldown of it, make it more common. Well, what's the point no. of it then? It's balanced as it is, Mela. Yeah. yeah, I think. It's not. No, but I do agree Mayla, with you that just there don't are... get caught out of position. Okay, I... that's happening because you're you're not in position. Yeah. Well, I you got flanked <laughs> and you got fucking imped. Yeah. Ish. Get imped. No, the <laughs> I agree with you that it should be able to purify all of the stuff that makes sense to remove. But you're an imp. You can't just go like, mm, I'll just clear this. You have this. access to none of your skills as an imp. All of your skills are are are. You it's know, okay. You guys I, don't play in the PvP. Game. In it's the fine. same, in the same way, I'm ignoring what he's saying here. Uh, in the same way true, that you clearly. can't purify stun, you're stunned, right? You should be able to purify stun. That's not a, a a status effect like that. Poison you can purify, obviously. You can, you can. I think you're just getting into like nitty gritty because otherwise you're just making some classes more superior than others because they have yeah. non purifiable <laughs> CC, which yeah. is not the correct yeah. mentality. That's kind of all we have, Mela. We don't really have much else. Oh, I'm sorry, your kit's not very good, but that's not my fault. <laughs> no, in fact, it is quite. It good, is quite actually. good. It's still so good. You want it to be purified, apparently. For one skill. Yeah, Mela, just get just get the white mage. Just He's get really having Mayla. to run up to you <laughs> get to CC you. <laughs> yeah. If your team doesn't stop him or you don't stop him, that's on you. That's true. He has to get pretty close. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's okay. Um, okay. Um, yeah, we also have to dive into AOE heal. Like yeah. we have to jump into the fray to get our like cure three. So we we have it's a just, lot of. Mm. It's just like the samurai thing. Mela, when you you know he's gonna do the thing, he's walking yeah. up to you. You can see he has a skill. Yeah, Summarize, okay. Summarize. <laughs> just don't but hit him. I'm going to imp you and correctly. then immediately limit break you. That is just how it is. I'm sorry. Um, all right. So, uh, anyways, moving on. Uh, Con Confidior uh, damage potency has been increased from eight to twelve thousand. So a buff there. Um, same for blade. Well, not the same. Blade of Faith has an increase from six to seven thousand. Blade of Truth, 7 to 8, and Blade of Valor, 8 to 9,000. So, overall buffs on those skills. Uh, for Dancer, um, oh sorry, it says certain adjustments have not been reflected in action descriptions. For further details, please check known issues. So these updates may mm. not reflect in your, in your like, thing. Um, tooltip. Yeah, tooltip. Uh, for Dancer, Honing Ovation. Attack and barrier potency granted by each stack of a claim has been decreased from 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 to 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Thank you. That, I okay. love the context of this. Love that. It just, I love seeing the numbers. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for Crystalline Conflict, Season 10 will end and Season 11 will begin. When the season ends, mm. yeah, you know how, oh, how all this works. It's not, it's not the series, it's the season. That's it's the, the difference. season, mm -hmm. yes. Um, system updates. In accordance with the end of the stress test, the cloud data center has been removed from the list of options on the data center selection screen. I didn't know that was still I, there. It was still there. Well, I see it because I changed data center a lot, but I was surprised that it was still there for yeah. so long after it was closed. Yeah. Uh, and also, all worlds on the Oceanian data center are now available as destinations in the data center travel window. And it will open on Monday, the 25th of March. Let the floodgates open. At 3 GMT. Uh, oh, yeah, that's also a reminder, by the way. I should have said this at the top of the show, but <laughs> why? Uh, Europe is going into... Uh, we're ending daylight savings tonight, if you're watching live. So you're going to lose an hour of sleep. You're welcome. Mm. Uh, are you? What? It's You're now. doing it tonight. It's oh not well, God. like at three a.m. Right, so it's Sunday. Okay. Oh, is Europe? Is Europe tonight? Because I thought oh. we're next week. We yeah, are. Yeah, UK is next week, and then we're. I was always assuming oh, because we're a week after the UK, which I thought was wait. Europe. No, no, no. Wait, hold on. 
Maybe every you're right. daylight savings we Shit, have this every day. Yeah, we do this every day. <laughs> every single time we're like, no. what? how did it work again? We shown this dozens of times. Again, I have course. to blame this on uh, my boomer brain and NRK. But I saw an article about it. I guess they were just getting us ready for it. I no, you're right. It's next week, isn't it? It's yeah. it's the, okay, it's the last. Makes... Yeah, it's the last Saturday. That's Fine. what I thought. Okay. Another week of this nightmare. But then it is over. Then it is over. Okay, so never mind that. Yeah, Thank God we didn't say it at the top of the show. Technically affects me. We yeah. That's thank true. God we didn't say it at the top of the show. Yeah, thank God. Like thank people, God we say people we, get the we and then it in just here. Leave. Yeah, most yeah. people are just it, here for the top of the show. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that's what's happening. So they can hear. I don't care about any of this. Ooh. Bye. Well, the Xbox players trying to avoid spoilers would be gone. True. Well, that's, that's true. true. They wouldn't be spoiled on on daylight savings. That's good. Um, all right. Uh, anyways, Monday the twenty fifth of March, uh, three GMT and two PM uh, Australian time. Uh, so there we go. I'll see you there. We'll have shrimp on the Barbie. Uh, in on uh, uh, yes. Which server was it? Someone in ch in the comments uh, invited us on the sh to the shrimp on a Barbie. Oh, we'll be in that. Yeah, whatever yeah. that server. So we'll be there. I don't know. I don't remember. We'll go. We'll be there. Um, okay. Servan. Servan. Okay. There we go. So that is patch six point five eight. What and a good patch, guys. What a great patch. Full of, just oh. loaded with content. This one's going to be going on for ages. Yeah. <laughs> this will hold us mm. over. Uh, well, we'll talk about some stuff that will hold us over, though, uh, in a bit. But before then, we, of course, have to check in with our post Moogle and see if there's any good Mogmail. Here we go. It's time for Mogmail. This is from uh, Gado Lee Nelevar. Mm. I almost said Good Yato. You, you, <laughs> <laughs> from Brynhildr. <laughs> from Brynhildr. Uh, hi, speakers. Uh, on January 26th-ish, the Final Fantasy XIV Instagram account posted a new screenshot of Heritage found some of the technology in the screenshot definitely looks elegant. The way the spires in the screenshot have repeated, uh, repeating purple lines through them and are connected with what looks like lasers definitely reminds me of Oz's Law. Even though it's not as overwhelming as some of what Oz's Law looked like, the style is strongly similar. To me, this seems to indicate that Heritage Found probably has some connection to Alag. I've been fascinated by Alag for a long time and have often wondered how such a society would come to pass, or could come to pass. It is possible this place will show us more of the origins of Alag. Most of what we've seen in game has been related to um, late Allegan society, but the name Heritage Found seems to indicate connection, a connection to some sort of history. Even though Endwalker was often touted as a reset and an end to many of the existing stories in the game, the more we learn about Dawn Trail, the less certain I am that we are going to be exploring completely new things. It does feel uh, that we might be getting more info about what already exists. I have no specific questions about this. I mostly just wanted to draw your attention to the new screenshots and get your impressions. Do you feel like Heritage Found is also related to Alag? Would you all like to know more? Do you want to keep exploring the planet's past? I'm a big old lore nerd and love exploring histories, but I can't help uh, wonder if we're just going to keep circling the big things in history, like Alag, rather than focusing on something new. And I can't decide <clears throat> which option I like better. Thanks for all your content. Always look forward to it. Now... This is an interesting Mogmail now in light of um, <sighs> packs that we're going to talk about later because there might be something there that is, uh, let's say, the beam is more focused now onto uh, what we might be dealing with. But that doesn't exclude Aleg, of course. Uh, we, it might still, it will still have to be baked into the world. Um, have you guys seen the screenshot they're talking about, by the way? No, I was one. I was trying to think of it. it. I here, I'll. I got. It. I, I'm assuming it's this one. It's only on Instagram, so Instagram <laughs> sucks. So I'm gonna. It's the thing. To work oh on yeah, I time. opened Instagram to have a look at it, and like slowing down. It's ruining my Discord connection. I'm not um, doing. If this. you want that one bigger, oh, it's that. It's from the um, game press site as well. Okay, yeah, that's that. Everything's one. on their press site, so. It's artwork. It was... of... Well, this one is heritage found. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. the. It's not. Oh, that's... It's the town underneath it. Oh, that's we've seen this before. I'll. I'll... Yeah. I'll show it here. There. So that's oh, for okay. some context. Okay. Uh. 
looks elegant. I yeah, I I guess so. It does look elegant, but it also looks Guardian. It looks like a fusion. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, that's that's elegant. Kind of what if elegant. it was purple? Yeah. And the color schemes makes me not associate it with Guardian just because this is not the colors they'd mm. normally use. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Yeah, well, that's the walls true. are kind of Guardian. Have yeah, you they... seen the blur, by the way, on the Solution Nine uh, screenshot they posted too? No, no. it I, says more if I have not an Instagrammer. I mean, it says uh, introducing Solution Nine, a city of towering facades constructed by an entirely different civilization than that of Tulilal. Oh, okay. Oh. So that, okay. Hmm, well, interesting. I thought we knew that it well, was Tulilal. Yeah. We, well, now it's <laughs> definitely clear. Yeah, and then. Um, Ah, uh, there's nothing particularly interesting on the Heritage Found one. Uh, overflowing with lightning energies, Heritage Found sees thick thunder clouds blotting out the sun with streaks of purple leaven illuminating the land day and night. See, yeah, the purple oh. leaven thing is interesting because that is also the color we keep seeing, we see in the structures and stuff. So I'm assuming that is yeah. what's powering it somehow or, or something. Um, which also the purple rocks that we keep seeing in the trailer. Mm. Uh, we saw it in the um, the mountain, you know, the uh, was it a dungeon or was it an overworld thing where there was just all these like blue, like purple crystals in, in the mountains? I yeah. think that was a dungeon. That's yeah. a different area, though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but mm. it's it's weird because it's it seems to be everywhere. Uh, it's a recurring color scheme. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The secret color of this expansion is purple. We're back mm -hmm. in Shadowbring. It's how, yeah. Mm -hmm. They want to go back. So you, th you think it's orange and blue? No. Purple. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that's that's uh, cool. We'll we'll see. Um, I can't wait for the reveal in the game because they need to nail this. But I think, again, we'll talk about packs um, in a bit, um, which uh, will help our theories a bit more. Uh, okay, uh, thank you, um, Gato, Gatoli. Um, next, uh, Mogmel coming up right now. This is from Vruhan, Vru, Vruhan Tia from Phoenix. Hello, people who sometimes have strange discussions. First, before my question, mm. in episode 390 about elegance on the new continent, uh, uh, might be new continent not even have existed at the time of the elegance, and the landmass just surfaced or was created after a calamity. Uh, okay. And uh, now to my questions. Azem seems like someone who could have escaped the sundering. Did he perhaps let himself sunder willfully? And about the S-rank hunt, the bird of paradise, could it be an unsundered bird from Elpis? A side quest in Elpis might allude to that. And do maybe other unsundered beings exist? There is the thing with natural lifespan, but I don't really know uh, if they have one before the concept was finished. Uh, and I have no idea how the passage of time works in this game. Okay. That's fair. Uh, you and me both, buddy. <laughs> yeah. No one knows. I think the bird of paradise is just say bird that just like that is the name of a bird that exists in the real world but i think that's where it takes its naming inspiration from yeah mm -hmm. it would be cool i didn't see why it would have happened but it would be cool if it did happen mm. this one lonely unsundered bird yeah in the sea of clouds no no there's only well, no, one other unsundered bird? being the shoe bill oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> True, true. The, true. the bird of paradise is a species. It's not just an S rank. It appears in some other places as well. It's just like modify a bird of paradise. Mm. That's okay. true. Yeah. Um, Azem escape uh, sunder willfully. Do we think? How do we feel about that? Um. Or them. I could see it. Um. Yeah, I've. I can see that happen. I don't know why. I mean, why would they? Maybe he couldn't have escaped the sundering. Wasn't well, implied that they kind of were trying stuff, mm. like were. lots, like lots of like trying to figure something out, and they just, mm. you know, they couldn't get anything together. Well, yeah, well, the Square Enix line has always been that like Azem is doing what you think Azem would have been doing during the final days. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. We can make up our own. If yeah. you want them to sunder themselves willfully, yeah. they'll never explain it. You think it hurts getting sundered? No. 
No, it probably feels <laughs> like it feels. Well, it simply die. feels like it's, it feels like yourself being ripped out of your body fourteen times. It Is it? So it's like a nuclear bomb. You just you know, it just happens. Yeah. You don't feel anything. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, it's that. Yeah. It's like a nuclear bomb in your being... fucking baby. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's what Maya Zen was doing. They were mm. the coffin baby. God. Um Okay. Well, um there you go. Thank you. Uh, oh, you don't want to talk about the landmass part? Oh sorry, the landmass part. Oh yeah, shit. Um Allegance on the new continent might new the new continent may, may not even have existed at the time of the Allegans. I'm not willing to accept or was, that. that it might have been created after. If you're the saying calamity. that the new world didn't exist during that period, I don't think I'm willing to. I I feel like if you look at the map of uh, Tural, mm -hmm. it looks battered. It looks mm. broken up. It looks like it's been through a lot of geological activity, and it, you I could find say it hard to believe calamities. Like it has. Mm. I mean, it, you could. Yeah. The only argument and that maybe I it has or maybe it hasn't for accepting why Tural, like the idea that Tural didn't exist back then, is mass continental drift, and that continental drift is significantly faster <laughs> on a theorist than it is in our world. Yeah, they're just floating around. Yeah, on that water. Mm. Um, it's only a matter of time before Tural runs into the Far East. Oh yeah, the, yeah. That's the real another moon that dropped that we didn't know about oh, we made a new continent. Oh, yes. <laughs> it happened after the elegant empire yeah but before everything uh, uh, that's before. what caused the flood of water yeah the, what yeah. If the the of water. yeah what if the continental drift is true and it's being pushed along by sin from oh, fancy ten. there you go there it is yeah okay. sure okay sure sin. Uh, yeah um okay well, I, I do have to wonder about, like, the big kind of, like, Mesa Plateau thing, where where the Brazil area would be in mm -hmm. IRL. Because mm. uh, it's, like, it's got, like, a really deep center, hollow center. Not, well, I guess hollow, but flat. And then around there are these huge flat mountains. Mm -hmm. So, like, was, did, like, a meteor come down and make that, like, you know, billions of years ago? A lot of happened there. Well, I, and it was definitely around during the Allegan mm -hmm. era, and they probably took it over, and it's just not mentioned. Yeah, it would be interesting if, like, part of the lore is that, like, for some reason, Tural was hit hard by the calamities, unlike Othard. I would love that. Yeah, please. Yeah. The calamity of water, the calamity, like, the massive earthquakes. Well, Come on, dude. Yeah. It's got to be more than just Eorzea. Leave Eorzea alone. Yeah, it's it's weird that they would the all Othard be focused thing on Eorzea. was actually very disappointing in Storm. Yeah. It's, they're connected continent, too. You would yeah. 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 It's... It's, hey. it's don't think about it we shouldn't think about it uh also, yeah not, not just totally random i feel like um god what's the region aldenard yeah it's too big right <laughs> what like, do you mean like I, I like western aldenard i look at it and i'm like that's too big what does that <laughs> mean like, <laughs> That's like looking at Africa and going, that's too big. That's no, just too big. big. <laughs> Rollo, and I mean, Altenard is Africa. Yeah. Yeah. From like the the size it's represented in the game, which I know is not, of course, because there's like transitions and all that. But like... I, it's a fantasy world. <laughs> what do you, you mean? Believe in what is this think, weird logic? I think it should be, I think it should be smaller. <laughs> it Why? has to be quite... Rollo, for something to have that many different environments, it has to be big. <laughs> it has so why many different biomes. So weird as well. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know why. You, have, you can have different <sighs> biomes and a small landmass. I don't know. I think it should All be half that size. All it is right now. Is about the same Alden size Alden as Alden Art. too damn big, <laughs> it's folks. It's too big. Why are you saying? I think <laughs> Elsebar's bigger. Like, why do you want to? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I think compared to the new, like, the, the uh, Tulil Gaul and everything, it's too. It's about big. the same size. Yeah, the same exactly. Size. They should be smaller. Why? Why? Tural, if you're this including so North good. and South Tural, <laughs> no one... it's about twice the size of Aldenard. What Unique are you about? Pod 14 I... podcast. I'm just telling you. <laughs> I'm listen, it's vibes. It feels like it should be smaller. <laughs> You're I like those. Yeah. You're like those people that look at a map, uh, like the current 
normally accepted map and think that Africa is smaller than it is. Mm. No! That's what this feels like. Well, let's, let's just remember that Aldenard is the home to like four nations. Like it is, well, three, I guess, but it's it's a big place. It should be. It should, uh, you know. It's a, not even yeah. their city states. That, that makes them oh. feel smaller. You know what I mean? Well, they just call them. It's Yours the wrong word. Yeah. That is the wrong word. They <laughs> should is. say capital. Yeah. The yeah. They have weird terminology in the ERC. Yeah. Yoshi P, you need to change that map, make it half the size. No, Everything else the is the same. Size. Everything else can be the same size. You're insane. Alternar you... needs to be shrunken. I'm well, so confused. Ver Verhain, thank you for your mug mail. Thank you, you so were right, much. Sometimes we have strange discussions. <laughs> uh, so yes, true. we do. All right, we'll do uh, one more mug mail. Uh, this one I accidentally loaded up once and then we forgot about it. Here, it now redemption at last. Dr. Oh. Delicious. Talk from today. Gilgamesh. Uh, long time listener, first time poster here. Um, this probably doesn't warrant a whole mog mail, and likely only Lukeel will appreciate this, but regarding the woman at the top of the Dawn Trail, key art, may I suggest for your consideration, Nashmira. Great show, everyone, Dr. D. Well, yes, that's, I mean... <laughs> I don't understand this one, but... Uh, no, okay, the so... The dancer lady? Yeah, you yeah, might... The, the... Oh, no, I know her. That's how you may know you her. You may know her okay. as the dancer lady. But in uh, in Eleven, she was an empress. Uh, the empress oh, of Artergon. And she... I can kind of see that if, they're, if they want to do... Um, like an Eleven flavor to this uh, as well, to the story. Oh, I can... The wrong, they're going to have to change her name then to be like Nash so, Mira or well, something. Well, she can't that have that name, isn't. obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. She's been used already. But sure, she's a puppet master. And if you ch if which... you change the name too much, it's not the character from Eleven either. It's not even a ref like right. Bira. The reference you they have can... for this Eleven character is now the dancer lady. Yeah, they can change it decently enough because like the Magia sisters in our, our game, they're not called Cindy, Mindy, and um, the other one. They're called Cinderuva, Minderuva, and. The other one. That's true. <laughs> they yeah. still have the title, though. So, I mean, that's already the linking piece. True. Uh, I, I I don't know how they would... Like, because she's, like, an actual... Like, we already know that who the ruler is for for um, Tural. Unless she is, like... Yes. For Tuliolal. For Tuliolal. So you, you're suggesting there might be an empire within this continent that we don't know about I yet? I think the argument that they're making is that this they're the leader of um, uh, Solution 9. Or at least oh, right, 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 of That's course. That's an, an out there one, I will say. Well, that sort of doesn't really match with her character at all. So I don't. at that point, we're sort of... I don't know then. <laughs> she doesn't look she like her. A little bit. I'm just trying to look at Yeah, you at have her. to, like, convert the Eleven Hume to, like, a... She's got, like, her hair's very different. Mm-hmm. Her outfit's, like, quite different. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's not a bad idea. Like, it's, it's not bad. It's a, it's a good cool suggestion, because yeah, but... we, we don't know, you know? She's definitely... I don't know. I feel like they've made her have this, like, otherworldly glow. Yeah. For some reason. Yeah. Is that just because she's the white woman at the top of the poster? No, because a no, lot of the other characters here have white too. skin. That's she's like true. a really regal kind she's of She's got thing. the glow to her. She's got like her... Every other character has like a shadowed front on them, mm -hmm. and the light's coming from the sides, but she has it coming from like the front on her. Mm -hmm. She's glow, and I don't... I don't know. I mean, Still, she... like, looking forward to be going to at Ergan Mission... 11 to meet with this character. You are never going here. to meet her, Mela. You're never. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah, that's a good, a good, a good suggestion as any. We don't have no, we have no idea. Who I she is. feel like no one's like, and I appreciate your suggestion. But I feel like no one's like, it's all just shots in the dark with this character. Yeah. I can't think of any character it could really be. It's so good. out of left field. Like I feel exactly, like every. Yeah. Every other white girl we've had on there, we'd be like, oh, you know, it's that white girl. But now we got, like, his, the mysterious one. Yeah. Who's that? I don't, yeah, mm. they can't figure it out. Mm. Like, or even where they'd be. 
Yeah. Yeah, they look like they don't fit in uh, at all. Yeah. So, very strange. And I don't think their clothing <clears throat> fits into what I envision the solution nine people to be like. No, it's very like, it's, it's, it's like kind of we... giving like high Gridanian. Mm. Yeah, it's more like, mm. it's, it's more druidic fantasy. Yeah. I know we don't know what they're like, but do you not feel yeah. like they'd be more modernish looking based on yeah. the architecture? She almost looks like. Uh, a fancy star online character. Oh yeah, yeah. Crossover. Oh, is that, see it. Crossover. The crossover remains in the poster. Yeah, again. What happened to the other for real this time? Yeah. Yes. Know, maybe they're going for that Hunger Games aesthetic, where like they wear things that are very incongruent with the world around them. Oh. Maybe. I mean, with throwers. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they have people in the arena and they do death battles. They watch on TV. Oh, mm. That'd be nice. Mm. Priestess. I mean, solution nine. Also volunteer as tribute. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. The Hunger oh, Games. That's what the solutions one through eight. <laughs> that's what the throne claim thing is. It's just TV for them. Yeah, that would be so funny. <laughs> yeah, that would be it's funny. Like the Truman Show. AOS is just TV <laughs> for these people. Well, uh, Tural is. Yeah, the Turalman Show. <laughs> the Turalman Show. Okay. That's well, thank you, uh, Doctor Delicious. Uh, your uh, your um. Suggestion has been noted uh, and appreciated, but we. The uh, Doctor D, yeah. did you cheat on your wife? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, anyways, we're moving uh, right along. <laughs> it's time for Pax East, everybody. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not in Australia. <sighs> no. Not in Despite Australia. Despite what some people may have thought, it's not in Australia. Despite Those what guys. one person uh, thought. Those people, <laughs> <laughs> on the entire planet, uh, thinking east and going, hmm, that must east. be Australia. Um, yeah. So, exactly. why did you think Australia and not like somewhere in Asia? Well, we we've we've had this discussion. We don't know. Don't know. Mela, don't know. Mela's mind works in mysterious ways. Just, uh, just where it went. Pax East uh, just happened. If you're watching this live, Today, yes. if you're watching on demand, it happened uh, on this day, March twenty third. And we covered it live. The um, there was a lot of so it, the, the the panel was like titled 10 years of Final Fantasy XIV, the pa the journey to Dawn Trail or something mm -hmm. along those lines. Yeah, um, you got it right, Hang on. So the uh, so you you'd think mm, okay, this is gonna be mostly just looking back, and we're we're not mm. really gonna talk that much about Dawn Trail, but. It was very surprising how fast we went through the timeline here. But we're going to look at the um, um, the slides here uh, and go through them. So uh, it wow. started off with Yoshi P. Oh, yeah, it started off with a very strange session at the very beginning. We start camera scene. Dark hmm. stage. You can see some heads moving. There's some lights in the background on the stage, but it's mostly dark. Man walks onto stage. Crowd goes wild. No lights. Man, another person walks onto stage. There's confusion. Man lies down on stage, legs spread, <laughs> arms held high. People go wild. He leaves the stage. Audio quits like Cuts. it ends. <laughs> yeah. There's no audio. Man walks Ten onto stage passed. in silence. Camera still just dead on the stage no audio <laughs> sound comes back briefly disappears man walks off stage lights on mysterious voice begins to speak introducing yoshi p yoshi p enters stage that yeah. was the intro to uh, the pretty good yeah, it was good it, they built tension no one really knew what was going on very dynamic opening very yeah. cool very fresh very french very French, very French. Anyways, so he he introduced everything, and then he gave us this bullshit number thing that doesn't mean shit. No, it uh, means, what do you mean? Well, it's clear what it means. Number yeah, nobody played counts. this game in Realm Reborn. What? Yeah, and zero. Went up from there. <laughs> yeah, number go you know up. What? No, no. You know what this means? Stormblood was the most successful because if you look at the number differences. The, there's the most accounts that were created between Stormblood and Shadowbringers. The rise of the bots. That's true. Was truly that is, in yeah. Stormblood. 
<laughs> the bots. <laughs> the bots really that, love this one. All that to me, Georgi, is that storm blood catered to the lowest common denominator, and therefore that's why it saw the biggest influx. Yeah. Okay. okay. You're such a fucking <laughs> troll. Look at the mental gymnastics they have to do to hate storm blood. <laughs> no. All, all the no, hoops they have to jump through. No gymnastics. Don't say that. Right? This okay. is only the the, the voiceless <laughs> one. Well, the, sorry. sorry, the faceless one. I mean, the rise from heavensward to Stormblood is only six million. The unknown. The the others are outpaced. Yeah, eight million to Shadow. I don't Shadow know what Rings. you're talking about. And seven million what? to Endwalker. No, the the gap between Stormblood that shows that the most amount of accounts were made during Stormblood's lifetime. Oh. You'll see that it goes from ten million to eighteen million. There's only seven million between Shadowbringers and Endwalker. Right. Okay, I see New what York you mean. Prize. No, I they, see. they they hate the truth. Mm. You know, well, it might be it might we, be the number I literally of just said from launch of Shadowbringers to this, throughout the patch cycle. This this number is pointless because it's total number of registered accounts. Mm. They are mostly yeah. bots mm. and but inactive also, accounts. Apparently two ways of reading this graph. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. So I it's say. Did you notice that I was on Rollo's side and he immediately tried to throw me under the bus? I said they! I, it, Rollo, it is yeah. them who I'm talking. I know it's Rollo's not you, used to being it's the only Rollo, one. With, yeah. with Do you want me to say Lukeel and Mela instead of just they? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. He does. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, He's I He's not actually. part of the group, uh, Rollo. You're not. I still Maybe don't. I don't believe. <laughs> yeah, I, I rescind my comments. Is. Sorry, it is. <laughs> Lukeel and Mela have to do all this mental gymnastics. To hate Stormblood. I did no mental gymnastics here. That yeah, was no, I would have. I would have directed it mostly at Mela. You did some backflips. I saw. <laughs> there was your, no gymnastics. I just, I just wanted to okay. cause a stir, and I succeeded. Bit over, bit over. <laughs> uh, they, they, they flexed thirty million um, registered accounts. Uh, registered Why is the gap between festival. them not even the same? What do you mean? Oh the yeah, they, bars are, are for some reason they, they split them. out the. Yeah, it's weird. I don't oh. know. It's not. It's just to. It's just graphics, Mela. Just to look cool. This is not data is beautiful. I'll tell you that. No, it's not. That's true. No, you're right. <laughs> um, okay, so they they got that out of the way to be like, look how cool we are. We have thirty million uh, accounts. Where I've where of twenty five million of <laughs> twenty nine million bots. are are bots. Um, 29 million bots, 800,000 <laughs> non-active players. Uh, and then um, we we started our journey through uh, a realm... Well, actually, mentioned 1.0. He asked if there were 1.0 players in the audience. Yeah. I expected zero hands at squealed. this point. Because I don't think there's don't any left. I you ever expect zero. Yeah. We are a dying always, breed. Yeah, but there's always at least one at these events. Jade, yeah. angry... People who played 1.0 are sad playing now. Because if you've been, if you've been hurt so deeply... And then suddenly you're like, actually, you no know, game okay now. You'll stick with that forever. If you're the, 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 if you're the kind of person that stuck with 1.0 and then continued to stick with the game, but at some later point decided, like, no, 1.0, that was fine. Yeah. 5.0, disgusting. I'm uh, leaving. See, yeah. they're fakers. I feel like I feel like most people that left who played 1.0 would have left 100%. much longer ago. 100% and they'd return True. to 11. True. But remember, first of all, 1.0 player base, very small to begin with. And then it mm. has been 10 years or 13. No, actually, he said it. 13 years. It's been 13 yeah. years. I feel like you're implying that they're dying. Yeah, that's what I am implying. <laughs> yeah. We're dying of old age. I mean, We've it's been through this. True. Are We're we doing, all? Yeah. Um, I'm not. I, so, oh, actually, I'm, mm. what the hell? I'm sorry. Th this render. Of Titan, it looks like you got some fat nuts. <laughs> Dude, he's packing. Is it just me? What's yeah, the... I see it. He has like a lump I I there. Can... Is... I, think I can see his butt cheek from the front or something. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my I, god! Uh... I can see the back wheels. It yeah, them alone, all right. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> his skirt so isn't long enough. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay, anyways, <laughs> back to this. So there were, like, a few people in, in the audience that uh, raised their hands. Um, and that's when he said, it's been 13 years. I am turning to dust. Uh, and <laughs> then we went through um, a Realm Reborn. Um, he, he, quite, he, he said, 
he showed that like this world is currently full thing in reference to like the early launch of a realm reborn that's sugarcoating the launch of a realm reborn <laughs> Because most people never saw anything like that. They just crashed the <laughs> straight, so, no, got strange the game, you're right. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 that was bad. That's what that picture is as well of Yoshi P. That was when they had to apologize. He's so young. Look at he him. He is. Yeah. So we said that too. Yeah. It's it's crazy. Um, so yeah, he, he went through it. And he also like he said that they had... It's funny. It says it on the slide as well. Challenging but sparse content. <laughs> which is very <laughs> true. It's true though. It's yeah. true. Is that true though? Because I feel like people Around are often being, yeah, no. But I feel like a lot of people are like wax nostal nostalgic about all the content. Well, that's what they Around always Reborn. do. Well, I think it was overwhelming because of the patches were so like they were trying so hard to catch up to like fill all the gaps. The patches were crazy. Mm. Around Reborn's patches were they were unlike mm. anything we've we've ever had. Around Reborn's patches had the best patch graphical tech. Oh thing. yeah, Mela has that. Yeah, Mela really is very, very nostalgic. I'm so for the, bored the with art. the modern like mm -hmm. art they do. Not, not the art, but the tech start. Yeah, the tech start specifically. Yeah. It's always That's the same. same now. I mean, because like back then, we'd get it was common for us to get more than one trial and, uh, up, and three dungeons per patch. Hard yeah. mode dungeons. Mm -hmm. Everything. Yeah. Good. Uh, he also. Uh, Meaningful, rewarding endgame gear, albeit sparse. He also he he um. He talks about dark light gear. Yes, he also talked. <laughs> dark light gear. I mean, it's there, and you can I see like the dark horrible light armor. Gear. Yeah, I don't think it looks good, but it brings back nice memories because that was the like the blue gear. Yeah, and then sometimes you'd see someone with the purple weapon, mm -hmm. and you think, oh, <laughs> I can't wait to get my purple. I, weapon. Yeah, I'm gonna die on this hill, but I think. The majority of Roman Born gear just it looked like ass. Oh, In I terms of like you. compared to the gear we have now, it's it was not cool. It was not interesting. You the know, AF gear it was, was good. just I think the AF gear, I'll give it that. Yeah. But, uh, the majority was like I I don't think anyone is arguing with you on that. No, I think I agree, most people would much. say that the best gear in a Roma Born would be the AF gear, some of the coil gear some of the the raid series gear yeah yeah if we you're start... talking about pre-crystal tower as well 100 just the yeah. af gear right? yeah like we didn't start getting good gear until heaven's word <laughs> i'll say that yeah oh, yeah some yeah. people like the ironworks gear too well, the ironworks gear oh yeah kind of, ironworks kind of was good. cool especially because it was one of the few with a glow the yeah, romantic yeah. One. yeah i some of it was nice some of the like standard like very simple fantasy gear is kind of cool too Mm -hmm. Well, you like see, if in you want to go for that aesthetic, a Realm Reborn's gear was very grounded in the world. Exactly, like, I yeah, like they that. were trying very hard to do that. Um, okay, so um, and of course, Aorcia's world is kind of boring when it comes to clothing. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. Um, <laughs> put on your hemp and not, brazier. Yeah, <laughs> not anymore, Luke. Not anymore. Now I'm in. I'm in my hoodie. Yeah, I got my uh, <laughs> massless specs on. Yeah, hell yeah, brother. Um, so the um, he also has mentioned that uh, raids in a realm reborn were too easy. So when they moved, because yeah. that was a common complaint at the time. Um, so when they went to Heaven Sword, they went yeah. a little too far in uh, in adjusting the difficulty, and we all know. Uh, what happened uh, with the Alexander um, raids? Uh, in the beginning. Is, is he talking about, like, Coil? That they no, was too easy? He yeah. thinks Coil was too easy, which I don't think is... Really? That, like, well, that's, I, I don't know. Remember, remember... It was a, it was a no, complaint it's about Final Coil specifically. Raiders, yeah. yeah no, oh, okay. Raiders complained about... They, ra they did complain about Second Coil, too. That's why uh, we got no, that's a Savage. Why they made a Savage one. That's they made true. a Savage one for yeah. Second Coil, and then everyone thought, okay, well, they've learned now, so Final Coil is going to be like the same difficulty as Savage, but it was not. So it was just oh, very yeah. disappointing. No, I never knew that was a sentiment at the time. I always thought it was otherwise. Don't no, no. worry, they complain about everything, Ronald. The Raiders complain Twin about everything. It's, 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 yeah. it's because of the Twin Tarnia holdover that that affected, like, I would say... The zeitgeist of the community, but maybe not the mm -hmm. higher echelons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Raiders have it too good now. They get too much shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm done. True. I would never listen to your complaints ever. <laughs> I think that uh, creator was about the right level. That's the second. That's one. That's the last, oh, last one. Third one. I'll, I'll, I'll I think third that's one fair. I think creator. Well, I think by the time Heavens would ended and creator had come out, they'd got a really good level of difficulty in Savage. Mm. I think. 
Midas and Gordius was really up and down. Too up and down. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I don't like it's unfair to have like a really easy floor and then suddenly you're in like well, it was, what it, appears to be like 10 levels above. It was so interesting seeing uh, it was Pepsi Man. Which one was the. Um... Was it that Pepsi was Man? Ingordious. Yeah, Pepsi that was Man the was one that, that was the breaker. But that, that truly was, yeah. was the static breaker. You could like, hard. you I, saw people yeah. just like leave, like come out of Gordius, and you know they haven't cleared it, and they just <laughs> let just everyone logged off at the same time. You know they're all raging. It's over. So many friendships broken over that. Yeah, um, over that. Uh, I think Midas was pretty hard too, though. To be fair, yeah, like, brute justice was a. I mean, I never, I never did brute justice, but from what I saw of it, it was a very End fight. Yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, we all know Heaven's Word. Uh, he talked about how that the had... Great, yeah, the best, yeah. That, I mean, it's the first first expansion, so it was pretty big for he us. He talked about the first yeah. ever fan festival they did. Yeah, which I mm -hmm. re distinctly remember the UK one, looking like it was just in a pub. It was so small. I don't see your <laughs> issue with that, though. <laughs> I Do you know, not think it would be good to just... Be. Here's yeah. the thing to kill. Um, Cast your mind back to that office episode where Michael's hosting the like office party in the restaurant with just no oh, yeah. other patrons. Oh yeah! God! Imagine the Final Fantasy fan fest in the back of a pub, but other patrons are there just having a drink. Like, <laughs> what the fuck are those people doing? What are oh, these shit? weirdos and cat ears? <laughs> it was so funny. Yeah. Uh, for next time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm sure it was bigger, but um, that's how it felt. I remember all the pictures. It just looked small and stuffy. I think the US one was much bigger. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, that was so Heavensward. Uh, talked about that. And then, uh, of course, following that was uh, Stormblood. Um, uh, they made... Oh, this was... He talked about Eureka. Is... Oh, oh, yeah. He talked about Eureka oh, okay. here. Yes. Hmm. Uh, you're, you're Sorry, I thought your hesitation was a bit because like Stormblood is like shit. Is, is the meme? <laughs> no, I was trying I to remember. That's where we were no. going. Yeah. Okay, oh. <laughs> I couldn't tell. Oh. Oh. Goodbye. Oh. Goodbye. Okay. Yeah, he he went into a big depth about um, making content for like large scale, big. You know, let's have all the players game together. And he talked about Eureka. Yeah. Um, we had it so good in Stormblood. Little did we know. Uh, yeah, it's not it's not fully wrong. Well, notice how it says adjustment to the difficulty of duties and job skill rotations, in particular the last part, rather than increase. Oh yeah, in difficulty. Well, yeah. that is true. Yeah, this was when they added in um, job gauges and all that shit, mm -hmm. which was pretty exciting yeah. at the time. Yeah. I remember like trying to look at the black mage one on the stream and like work out what the hell it meant. The black yeah, mage one. <laughs> continues to be the best job gauge in the game it's so beautiful yeah. because it's it's weird because it's like it's just kind of symbols you know it has very few numbers or anything compared to all the other ones yeah it's like you know number gates like oh the symbol is counting this yeah. and the symbol's counting that yeah it's that's actually a cool design I, I like it a lot more than the other ones because mm -hmm. i don't know if you guys remember but a lot of those early gauges were just like it's a meter that yeah. Builds up <laughs> yeah. For yeah. like two skills. And it's like, when the yeah. simple mode was the same as the. Yeah. <laughs> I think the, the Paladin one in particular was like, why is this even. It a just gauge? showed your stance, didn't it? Like it was just shit. It's, it showed your stance. I think it still had the shield oath thing, but it did oh, a right. lot less. Right, right. It's pretty much mm. the same yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's true. <laughs> Um, and then, of course, Shadowbringers. We don't oh, need to spend hey. too much talking about this. We all know how good this is. Uh, yeah. This one's it was epic and cool. Mm -hmm. They talked sure. about Bosher a bit, but not much. Yeah, I will say two of these slides refer to sort of the story type, story, na story driven nature of the expansion, which is interesting. Mm, that's true. Yeah, and I uh, think that's fair though. I think they did expand a little bit on the raw. Because on it was Stormblood that they they tried to. Do you remember when when Stormblood was announced and they were saying if your character is. Uh, this job, then they might get unique dialogue and whatever, and it oh, never yeah. really amounted to anything. But that was uh, when they first started trying. Well, if you're a healer, you got stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But yeah. it was always like, it's yeah, I it's can't do. I'm not going to res him, lol. Yeah. Uh, so that's uh, this that's was definitely where they Shadowbringers. I'm uh, sure a lot of people started playing during this expansion. Yeah. And then we have Endwalker, current, current, yeah. and uh, dying. And they had to they had to scramble for bullet points for this one. Okay. 
Just so our listeners and viewers understand, this is a bit that Mel is doing to try and rage bait you. Don't fall for it. Fall uh, for it, guys, please. Uh, Don't comment saying, Mela, what the fuck? What the fuck, Mela? This is the shittiest takes. <laughs> what do you even play this game? Does he just hate it? <laughs> what is he doing on a 14 podcast? <laughs> you can say he has shitty takes, but don't do it in response to this because he's got plenty of shitty takes for you to pick up. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Get the real ones. Even one. I can't think of even one. No. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, Endwalker. Um, I mean, that's current. This was just we saying it's the end of the first storyline. That was yeah. it. Well, it was so an long. increase in focus on the solo content, which yeah. is oh, yeah, a true. massive yeah. part of Endwalker. Which is something we'll, I... we'll loop around back around to yeah. in a second. Okay. Um, he he does talk about this. So he he then shows this and is like, "Ooh, it's a summer 2024. Ooh, what does that mean?" And then he says, "We'll talk about that later." Um, so we'll get back to that. But obviously, you probably already know that the date has been released. But um, we'll save uh, it. Um, nice so here stories. are the. So then he started talking about the goals for the future of the game. These are like their new challenges for the next ten mm. years. And the first one was evolving ever further as an MMORPG. And this... Um, this was him expanding on that that thing everyone uh, took out of context. Yes. The, like him expanding saying, again um, on it? Okay. Well, no, he, he kind of said... Um, you know oh. when we had the thing where he said making the game more stressful or whatever and everyone took it out? Yeah. yeah. This was kind of him expanding on that again. Basically saying mm. that... And I, I, he said, first thing he talked about was the target circle of enemies being too big, which I didn't agree with. I don't, I like large scale well, enemies. I think and the I th circle has to represent. I that. think he was trying to to paint a picture of like the fights all look the same. They have this big circle. A lot of them do. And I mean, sure. The just, main thing was the you mechanics just dance around being repetitive, a circle. though. Yeah, I think that's what. Yeah, he's trying to but the mechanics well. are very repetitive. Yeah, uh, I mean, we've talked this about expansion this before. Particularly, it's like. For Formulaic. Overwhelmingly, the fact that every t I mean, you have hopefully, if you've watched our normal streams and have watched us do all the extremes, you know that every start, every fight starts with a raid wide, and you know that we already know that first time going in, and it always happens. And there's like a 50 50 chance that your next mechanic is like, if you're doing a, a bit of a difficult fight, you're going, going into clock positions. There's yeah. going to be clock positions, there's so probably. much of it. Um, and they're great mechanics, but not every time. No, and that's something that they need to, they need to expand on. Yeah, and I think that's what they want to do. They want to make fights feel. He talked about is some it? Japanese concept of using your brain, uh, which is uh, foreign <laughs> for us Westerners. Yes, yeah. sorry. Well, they, because there are good mechanics in a lot of these fights. Like I could pull apart fights and set, bring up certain mechanics. It's just they're surrounded by mechanics that I feel like I've experienced before. Yeah, right. Yeah, like when we go into when we get a new dungeon. Mm -hmm. uh, like as an example, I don't know, um, Isle of Ham, that second boss had some interesting like AoEs with the, where it was jumping to and stuff. Yeah. And like, yeah, one interesting mechanic, but then the rest is... of the fight's all you know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I wish they, I hope they think out. So it looks like though, based on what he's saying and based on what he said in that interview that a lot of people took out of context, it does seem like he really wants to change combat like how we fight enemies in this he game he wants you to be yeah. more engaged bosses. when playing yeah. the game because yeah. even he said that there are times where he finds himself falling asleep playing the game yeah yes well i feel like with 14's like raid design or combat design in general it's very iterative which i think is is a good thing for a while mm -hmm. like it, a lot of times you'd be like oh this is this mechanic from this expansion or this fight, uh, except it's opposite now or slightly different, you know, mm. and it's it's just a lot of that with like maybe one or two entirely new things. Yeah. Uh, but like, yeah, uh, I always forget their fucking dumb raid names like um, uh, the circle one coil, coil binding coils. Uh, no, no, the, pandemonium. Pan like, no, the, the, uh, what are you asking for? And... The name of the mechanic. Talking about a mechanic. Oh, yeah. Where they always had. Uh, uh, I guess the community names for them were like Helix, something like that. God, you made uh, me blank. Like on the everything. Shiva ones. Sure. <laughs> the, a lot. A lot of them were from Coil and from um, uh, Twist. Gordius, not Gordius. It's that's just not, the not name twisted. of it. Dynamo and Jerry. Dynamo and Jerry. Oh, yeah. 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 A lot of, right, yeah. A lot of mechanics are just like. Here's a dynamo and chariot, but like yeah. slightly different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for that. 
Yeah. Almost every fight has a donut go in. Mm hmm Go away from boss. Mm -hmm. And I understand a lot of so a lot of people and he was very careful chose his words very carefully during this because part of this might some of you like he said you might get a knee-jerk reaction to what he's saying to be like oh this is going to be terrible because you're going to make it harder or whatever this is we're specifically here at least from i'm reading from him sounds like this is more like you know for the harder fights not necessarily msq fights i don't think they're ever going to change that but they might change how we fight them to make them a little more engaging that's what he's talking about i think to make it more because mm -hmm. again like i said there's if you were to just strip down a fight and just not look at the boss, you have a big circle on the ground. You look at the circle, look at where it's facing. You go into clock positions. There's a donut AOE and then blah, blah, blah. You just rinse and repeat and then it's dead. That's the fight. You can yeah. do it without watching it. You know, it's that's what he wants to change. He wants you to be more in the fight. Um, with I don't want to see another Ackmorn. No, I, I you know why we will because we're going to uh, Maricidia one day. I don't Find want it a little please. bit. Mm, I don't hate Arkmorn. I just wish it was a mechanic that was pretty restricted to dragons because there are a lot yeah. of bosses that have it yeah, now, exactly. which I feel I liked it when it was like a, an identifier so of like, a type mm, of enemy, which so just when you doesn't see feel it, like anything. You see like a dragon, you're like, mm, there was a chance we're exactly. getting an Arkmorn here. Yeah. What was the opposite? Mm. Morn, Morn Aff? Morn What's the other one? Um, one that, Kai or something. That's, yeah. that, yeah, that's the party you'd write where you, the party has to stack together. Yeah. Mornaf, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Mornafa. It. Mornafa, okay. that's the one. Mornafa, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, well, anyway, so he did talk about that uh, to try to put your minds at ease, but uh, he also did say that they are wor actively working on making this a change uh, into the game. So It needs to happen. And I think that's a good thing, because that's you don't want your battles to become stale. Because remember, Ford, there was like when Shadowbringers was like all the rage, all the people that came into 14 was like, dude, have you seen the fights in Final Fantasy 14? Like they're so cinematic yeah. and crazy. But then if you look at those same streamers and uh, content creators now, they're kind of over it already because <laughs> they're seeing mm. some of that is because, you know, you'll always go back to your main game. That's just how it is, you know? Yeah. But, it, it was the it game at the time. Yeah. It was. It was the pandemic. Yeah. No one else had anything to do. Yeah, this was the flashy new thing. Though. But it like, is the same fight over and over in a way. Nothing was more telling than the end of uh, Endwalker with Dead Ends and... Uh, Sigma Dreamscape, mm. which were like the ident they were basically the same dungeon. <laughs> like everything, like thematically, yeah. Uh, like lo like you went to three different separate areas, which were, you know, the bosses were even quite similar. It, they were very similar fights and very I similar guess, dungeons. I guess you can, I can see that. Yeah, I would need to think about the bosses. I can, I can see it thematically. Yeah, I would need to think about the bosses it more was carefully. Like, Back to back, very similar dungeons in the end game was, and then the uh, expert route as well. Because that's an interesting thing you're bringing up. Because he didn't, he specifically talked about like boss, like fights, but mm. I think dungeons as well has really like they have not. They're very homogenized now, and they are run feeling... for a bit. It's it's uh, two pack, like two section, two gated pack pulls boss mm -hmm. in a circle arena. Yeah. Two gated pack so, pulls. So I hope I hope that's same. part of that package that he's talking about, like changing up, like how we yeah. like everything that makes yeah. dungeons. Like as when well you as think about memorable refresh. dungeon buses, I go back to that uh, that like unicorn Pegasus thing from like oh, Sorkai yeah. or whatever. Like that, that was and one Sorkai, of my favorite. Like fights. the last, like, which is unfortunately like, yeah. doesn't exist anymore. Which has been butchered. Yeah. Um, that one was great. Ra Race Belger, and that was fucking amazing. Yeah, Race Bartim's Metal. As Bartim, much as people yeah. hate it, as much I people hate it. it. Yeah. But I, th I thought I think it was unique. It was different. It's very unique. Think, Things like that. I think there's something Kraken or whatever. It, I can't remember its exact name, but the final boss of um, of, oh yeah, uh, Isle of yes, the Ether Font is pretty unique. I do but like it, that yeah. fight. It's just the other. This, the, what was it? the other Kraken though? Isn't it kind of just the same? Yeah, or the one from? Uh... It's more facing it though. The, really? the Kraken Gosh, from Hullbreaker had like oh, a Hullbreaker. bigger arena. To be fair, that one was a better fight still. But yeah. Hullbreaker. I know. I think Hull. I think Hullbreaker. Hullbreaker's Kraken fight is really poorly designed. 
Well, no, what about think, the other Kraken? Isn't there a oh, there's, third there's, Kraken? I was talking about the one in... You were talking about one says Starship Yeah, Starship that's, 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 that's That one was okay, too. Yeah, that Again, one was... Again, bigger arena, was though. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, yeah. the, one, I, the one like Yogi's talking about is like the that one, but rendered into the new world of Final Fantasy XIV. Mm. Like, yeah. More formulaic. Yeah. Like, I generally haven't been particularly surprised when it comes to mechanics for a while now i would say i've been surprised mm. by the narrative sometimes i think he's done a good job of that mm. of like oh i didn't expect that and it's maybe like boss design sometimes but mm-hmm. visuals and not, stuff yeah yeah i agree with you I though this, not particularly i think the, the spin i think the spinning mechanic at the end of um alzadal's legacy is pretty unique still yeah. Yes. Dungeons are, are the one place where I see new mechanics and get a little bit like, yeah. oh, that's cool. There are a few like also drops the um, the ant lion in that that recent one where it does the sand attack and you have to like walk out of it. Mm. That was cool. Like the the you know the quick sand thing. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, right. I can cool. remember I it. About that. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it's, it was it's, neat it's, though. It was like a cool yeah, thing because yeah, yeah. you had to stack through or whatever, and then run. Like there's small things in, mm-hmm. but in terms of like big fights, hard fights, you know, extremes and trials and stuff. I don't think any fight in this has been good since like the Highland Zodiac. The <laughs> Mist Dragon. That oh, was oh, yeah. Be, yeah. That was Mist like was it is. I know it's I kind of basically just like now as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it has. It's like, oh, you, you're just blind and you have to find the, you know, the, where the AOEs are. But that one definitely kind of got me. It, it's uh, yeah. got I a mean, lot of people gets, for a long time. I, it was hard. It did. But I think the Mist Dragon was a harbinger of what happened in terms of the difficulty because mm. they remember there were a lot of people who were like, oh, it's broken because they didn't understand the mechanic that you were supposed to search around for the AOE, otherwise it wouldn't appear. So yeah. I do think that unfortunately, as good as Mist Dragon was, it might have caused a dumbing down of what came after. Well, yeah. You could have just put some floating text. It would have fixed it. Yeah. Say, hey, yeah. you I search for the thing you yeah. can't see or something. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, I miss you, Miss Dragon. Yeah. I miss you too. I miss some of these. Okay, well, we, we, we have talked about this before, so let's just move on. So um, mm-hmm. he did talk about another thing that's... So he talked about playing the solo stuff earlier, and that they were, had worked on that with the trusts and everything. Now, going into Dawn Trail, they want to refine multiplayer uh, and get that aspect more out uh, into the game, or back into the game again, I should say. Um, that does not mean that single-player uh, content is getting like left behind. That's being taken care of as well getting variants and small you know small content like variant dungeons as well but he brought up this is probably the 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 bosia stuff like bosia mm-hmm. slash um mm-hmm. eureka Eury. type stuff that we're getting uh but hopefully more stuff that like focuses on more players than just being able to play it alone because this game <clears throat> yeah. this mm-hmm. game can be a little lonely if you have to play alone all the time because you can see other people walking around but then eventually this game would be like yeah see ya and then you just go into like content alone you know it's it's yeah. kind of a weird situation to be in so i'm glad they're doing i that. uh yeah like i like playing with people in this game i think it's always fun yeah even it if it kind of well. asses sometimes, or yeah. ass at the game, but like I like playing with people in general. I don't want to do that much stuff solo. I'm I'm I glad agree. they had the solo focus for uh, Endwalker, so they can you know get Make everything sure. up to par. Yeah. I I hope the multiplayer focus is very real, and that the large scale stuff is much more focus going forward. Yeah, I agree. I think, obviously, uh, you know, Eureka was a, a an experience and whilst you <laughs> refined it and, you know, that kind of thing is, is cool. But I don't think you have to tie in, like, the leveling system and the, like, segmented story moments and stuff. I think it would be very possible to just have a large-scale, open-world, difficult area that people can um level up in or you know farm tomes or do some way of capping their weekly tomes or whatever if people can just hang out in a big area and you know passively gain their tomes i think they would do it i yeah. think people like being in a big area with other people and mm-hmm. running around in a train and killing things and i don't think they need really like let 60 new levels to gain over the course of four massive zones i don't think they need that i don't think they need 
like a weird leveling system or a weird uh, uh, yeah, like elemental wheel. I don't think it's required. It's cool, but it's not like I, you I don't need that. I I can see that. Yeah, because you're already because when you're in a uh, um, any of that content, you you're progressing within that system. But not really mm. doing anything to progress the main game, you know. Your I mean? character, exactly. And that's All what really matters play. in the end is to progress your own character. I can see that, though. I wouldn't say Having no. Having a relic to that. inside there, of course. As well. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking, or what what we're getting, but it is promising to see them uh, focusing more on that because it has been very like we need to make this game solo friendly since like Stormblood, and it's nice to see them yeah. kind of be like, okay. We let's, need yeah. more multiplayer for stuff for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, the people can solo the, if they want to now. It's it's yeah. it's done. All the work is in there. But yes. I yes, I I want to play my MMO. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. I am exactly. I am glad that they have stopped with the the lie that like this this large scale content can be done solo. Yeah, that was the, one of the most absurd things they ever yeah. said when they said yeah. that it could be solo. <laughs> it, it, it was it insane. Be solo at launch, and it still can't be soloed very easily. No, I mean that's part of what caused me to not like Eureka originally. Like I was to do some. This is impossible, or not impossible, but like next to unenjoyable yeah. in terms of trying to solo this. You have lied to me. Yeah, yeah. It took like five minutes to kill a mob. Yeah. So now. And you'd almost die, so you'd have to then wait afterwards. Um, not fun. Okay, so it also talked about like kind of linked to improve uh, to um, give you a more fulfilling gaming experience, which is all part of everything their big uh, plan. Uh, and then he said improved rewards, which mm. was very interesting because that's always been a problem in this game is that they don't know how to give us re like proper rewards to like. Make us they do don't have to pace again. rewards. Right. Mm. They blow the load immediately. Like, like you go into a do. dungeon and, or like at the new content mm. and you can do it three times mm -mm. and have every reward in it. Yeah. I think, and maybe this is a bit of a old MMO take, so maybe people wouldn't like it uh -oh. these days. Brace but yourselves. Low drop rate items as like no! a chase thing uh -oh. are fantastic <laughs> <You said> for <laughs> it. getting people to repeat things and like feel special for getting something i know some people don't like them so i don't think they will do that in this game you're talking about mounts that's, mounts that's, pets. that's literally yeah. what it is yeah. mounts yeah <laughs> and extremes yeah yeah extremes. And those I want, <laughs> extremes still have it what i want it is a system that it, to exist so that once you do something a certain amount of times you couldn't get any of those low drop rate things like the fact that i had to do Yes, I'm fucking sword and 74 times to get the card <laughs> is absurd. So the, I want there to be like a hard limit in terms of things like the I like the 99 like tokens to get the extreme mounts. I would like that in more things to be honest. Yeah. That's okay. So like yeah. a dungeon currency. Mm. A yes. dungeon currency, yeah. A pity a system. Pity system. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man, we're in gotcha territory So like now. low, That's low it. drop rate, but still a pity, and then a pity. Well, it's system hard. Yeah, you... it's hard. I don't know how you you sort of balance that around like the different players. Because I imagine, like, I think it would be cool if every single dungeon in the game had like a unique minion or like. Maybe an armor set's a bit much in this development cycle, but you know, a couple of unique things, mm -hmm. and they're you know they're fairly low drop rate, but obviously not absurd because every dungeon has one, and yeah. so you're encouraged to repeat that dungeon to try and get the cool pet. Yeah, and they can't let's say they can't be traded because that ruins rarity of mm -hmm. like everything in this game. Yeah, but um, then maybe there's a way of getting that if you've done it enough times. It's like okay, here you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What I'm hoping he's referencing though. At least my biggest one is fucking variant dungeons. Yes. Like, my God, what a fumble. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I agree. That, that, yeah, I hope so. They, they, they thought they did something <laughs> when they, they, uh, they fixed the rewards for the, uh, was it Savage or was it, uh, ex they fixed it for, yeah, yeah. Savage. Yeah. Criterion that wasn't Savage. what we wanted. <laughs> but thank no, you. No, I don't want that. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah. So hopefully they'll 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 have that. He didn't really go into this, so we don't know what he means by that. But 
there's something going on he there. Did, what he he did say that by the time of seven point three, there will be approximately one point five times oh, yeah. the amount of rewards yes. as there were at six point three. So there you go. Whatever that means. Figure that out. Um, and then he showed us, you know, the stuff we already know um, that we're getting. Uh, he did touch. I don't remember if he did that now. Uh, yeah, he touched on the uh, level cap, uh, and he's like, "Okay, we're we're reaching like a milestone um, now with a hundred. It's a milestone for us. That's twice what we started with." Um, th and then he was like, "But what after this? Like, what are we going to do? We're going to go 110, or are we going to go 120?" 30 140 150 uh, or we're just going to go back to 50 and you could feel the tension in the room rise that as he said that. Good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no i like my big level I, I, i'm finally getting three digits in my level man yeah, <laughs> yeah. even wow got to 120 before they dropped back down yeah mm -hmm. um so then of course we have oh um we have uh, the big reveal of uh the date the release date for dawn trail and it is the 28th of june 2024 for early access and the 2nd of july 2024 mm -hmm. on that's on a tuesday that's pretty know. nice so there you go. Mm -hmm. That's good. Um, well, remember they did. He did say at this point they had planned for it to be a week earlier, mm. but then, yes, they there's the release of Elden Ring's DLC. <laughs> the or, as he tree. says, yeah, yeah. So as he said, yeah, know, yeah, you're getting tree. you're getting one week. Yeah, and he also that. he also hinted on hinted at the fact that it might be because he wanted to play Elden Ring. He said yeah. it's not mm. because I want to play Elden Ring, but I I do look forward to it. Uh, so. That's uh, it, that's very funny, and yeah. you know what? Smart. Yeah. Too many companies are like, I'm gonna release my big expensive game. Uh, Too many that's, companies, as if Square Enix Square is, Enix is definitely example. one of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're the ones who are like, I'm gonna release it on this other massively popular game's big day. Yeah, yeah. It's Horizon the Zero Dawn, funniest shit every time. Mm -hmm. Rono, how are you gonna get all the sales if you don't release it at the exact same time as everyone else? That's obviously the special day to release them. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The, mm. there's more number to That's capture. When people exactly. get access to all of their money. Yeah. That's yeah. the day that the money is released to them. Yeah. You have to hope that they accidentally buy Dawn Trail instead of Elden Ring. Right. It's an easy mistake to make. True, true. Uh, okay, so there you go. Uh, mark your calendars and um, plan your, yeah, your, your days, days off. off. Yeah. Days off, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Hope to God it goes smoothly on yeah. this launch it, and you it, don't end it, up it, losing it, a week like Mela. Mm, oh. The, the Mela rage at Stormblood is still the oh, oh, I will I never forget. forget. <laughs> I will never forget. I, I was but playing I was on time for Shadowbringers. I least. was literally playing <laughs> alone. For, for for most of the start of Stormblood, because Mela was just gone, no. and Orange was ahead of me because he was like racing you try through everything. And the cat when Orange Caramel <laughs> has got ahead of you. Orange Caramel, is like <laughs> who has been I shitting in, on Stormblood? Am... He's been like, this is the failure of Final Fantasy. We've been doing that for the weeks <laughs> leading up to Stormblood. We weren't even covering the fucking uh, like a certain events. Yeah. Like I can't be bothered. I don't want to watch any of it. Like, Orange okay. poisoned us. <laughs> and then he's the one who progresses oh, to yeah. the MSQ. Was That's fucked. so funny. I so, you know what? Uh, it's destiny. Yeah, Mela was West, seething no, literally was for two months, for two right. weeks, yeah. two weeks of seething. Um, so, anyways, they sh then showed Good up. Times, though. <laughs> yeah. It was the best expansion. It was. I will never forget. I have fond memories of us standing in the queue. Uh, I liked the queue. Yeah, that was a good time. It was good. I have fond memories of going into East End and thinking this is beautiful, and yeah. then getting immediately stopped. <laughs> It was from having fun in my. It game. is good that we were there. We though, went man. and leveled uh, red mage and shit, didn't we? Because that's what. I, oh yeah, that yeah. entire we, time I just leveled up red mage to the. Uh, yeah. We were leveling to cap. I think almost. We, we were leveling red mage in Palace of the Dead. Yeah, and yeah. That's, that's when we suddenly heard uh, Orange go over. Was it? No, it, was it Teamspeak? Maybe at the time. Or maybe. maybe it was Discord actually. And he just goes, oh, "Hey guys, I got you." Oh. <laughs> yeah. And, and I could hear Mela's so soul man. leave his body, yeah. and I was like, "It's over." 
It's never returned. <laughs> and he was gone for two weeks. Uh, okay, so anyways, uh, moving on. Um, they showed off the collector's edition for Dawn Trail, the physical collector's edition. Uh, uh, oh, this is that's it. Time, there is... That's the that's the collector's edition. It, 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 it yeah, it is. Uh, um, it is the great. Warrior of Light again I'm, on a dog turd this time, which is very interesting. <laughs> your fucking statues suck. Yeah. All of your figures blow. I'm like, I think some of them are okay. I don't mind the statues. They're the cool. Like they're a cool part of it. I wish they'd run like. Having I mean, Stormblood were way better. Like, Look why are we this. hitting Warrior of Light again? It's man mm. standing on turd. It is yeah. <laughs> or like pizza dough? Yeah, or pizza dough. I don't, know. Dough. I don't know what the rock is. Uh, it's... The Paladin one was cool. Mm. But, uh, you could like... have just given us like a Wuklamer one. That would have been yeah, that exactly. would have been cool. Yeah. And... Why aren't we getting characters from the game? Why are we getting your Warrior of Light? It's not even my Warrior of Light. No. <laughs> no, you like Mr. Man, Mr. Mm. Meteor. Yeah. Why are we represented by this generic man and now we get a statue of yeah, him? Yeah, I literally can't, our... I can't believe How I'm many? saying this. Third one? This is our. Third one, third yeah. One, yeah. Well, Shadowbringers no. and Endwalker was both man. Oh, both and man. And now okay, this is third yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Heavenswood was midi or whatever, well, and I, I, was Xenos. Xenos. I kind of can't believe I'm saying this, but the Xenos statue, much better. It's good. Yeah, it, it is. Because he's a he's a big yeah. chunky boy, and he's like the fan favorite best character. Yeah. But like, and midi was cool too. <laughs> well. I wish it was it small, it was, I mean, wish it was the real Midgard Stormer and not the fucking mount version it's of them. Yeah, I agree with and that. Also, <laughs> they made it so that he can't really stand on his like the little stand that he yeah. came on properly. Like he keeps falling off. It's very. Mm-hmm. It should have been shoddy. maybe wrapped around the ship in this. In, uh, yeah. The oh, that would have been so cool. Yeah, um, that would have been cool. But yeah. And then they immediately. Uh, I, I think it's the same. I think they have a cast of this man standing in this pose, also, and they just do the same one every time. Also, this fucking base. I am over it. I am <laughs> done. Please stop. I, I don't know if they use the same uh, manufacturers or the same company because I think it's an in-house company that makes a lot of their like normal the figures. Yeah. yeah. That, I, but they fucking suck. If you're making a person, uh, the paint. And the molding. I don't know how Xenos managed to look good. That was like a miracle, yeah, I would say. That's true. <laughs> because they have that fucking company, they refuse to work with any other actual good, like, manufacturer of statues or, like, figures. It drives me crazy. Hmm. Please. They're so expensive and they all fucking they blow. They are. Uh, now, I've always bought the collector's editions physical this year. Might be the first time I just don't. I yeah, I am a bit. Uh, but there's more. There there's is other. more. There's nothing more that I want. Uh, maybe this. But this yeah, map is nice, this, but this I already nice. have two other maps. I mean, okay, sure, it has the it, the new design, oh, which is cool. I wish it was as crusty as the JPEG. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <It's the same laughs> yeah. Um, this is probably one of the best parts uh, of it of the whole thing. This is the only other good bit. Because that. And I cannot believe the notebook, dude. This has been the la- the one collector's edition notebook has been the laughing stock of the like community for the forever. Like people have been laughing at the fact that oh yeah, in the one collector's edition they gave you a fucking book with blank pages. We- guess I- what we're getting this this time, folks? A book with blank pages. They're giving you a notebook. I think it's a very Japanese. It kind of closer edition thing. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I've seen dozens of other Japanese games with like a similar collector. Side. No, so okay, I, don't like I, will, it. I I'm gonna hold on. Just I, okay, like I don't it. like the little mini notebook. I like the map. Like, look at some of the other ones we got. We had the little Azem pin. We got the little Loperet. Uh, yeah, I I'm pretty pro notebook as well. I don't hate this as much as you guys do. I'm neutral. I don't, like, I, the, uh, the design of the outside is nice, but I just, I don't need it and I wouldn't use it. For yeah, I don't, I don't have a use for it. I wouldn't want to write in it because it's collector's item. Exactly. Too, you know, and this is the, this uh, is the 1.0 one, right? Oh, that's 1. so 1. good. 1.0 one is significantly less appealing. It has art. Oh, oh that's that's cool. art inside. That's yeah, cool. It has art all over the, uh, everywhere. It's, looks like it's bigger than what you got, uh, get in this one. So, yeah. I don't know. And this one people have been laughing at. And this is like, 
really high quality actually but now we're here we're doing it again it's cyclical i guess we're, we're, we've restarted the cycle western games they get all the cool collector's edition like fucking remember the call of duty rc car 14's <laughs> never beating that <laughs> No, yeah. Catherine gave for Catherine full body gave you a pair of heart heart patterned underwear. Oh, that's way. true. That kind of cool. That's yeah. I love <laughs> collect editions, but like when they don't when they don't go hard on it, it's not. Yeah, it's I not just think it. it's funny that this is this is like wow. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. You can't believe we're oh, getting this. This was this was not the worst thing in my opinion. no because that's coming. No, I'm just, don't worry. I'm charging us up for this one. Um, yeah, come on, H hype us up. Okay, so, I mean, wow, that's really crazy that we got this, but how, what can we possibly top this? How can we? Well, <laughs> there's something that you might use in together with this, and that is, of course, yes. a pencil holder. Mm. Very Japanese to just have stationary as, like, kits and, and, uh, and items, essentially. I will say, as someone that has into japan and has been inside like merchandising stores there's a lot of stationary adjacent yeah. items that you can buy i mean you can buy I mean, good stationary but for me like their good stationary is like they have some really cool pencil cases which i wouldn't quite call this as much of a pencil case or they have like actually just really good pens and like shit like that like useful yeah. stuff this is cosplaying as like a renaissance explorer <laughs> crossing the world like yeah, you're Marco no, gonna, Polo. <laughs> no one is gonna use this uh i like i don't hate it personally i just it's not incentive for it. me to get it no. Yeah. no no it's it's very like i would never use this i, I might display it but yeah. at that point i, I don't know I, you know what would have made this better the statue being not the War of Light, and the journal being pre-filled with, like, Wook Lamat's notes of her journey across the ocean no, or something like that. No, I don't like want to pre-fill the journal. What are you, are you going to use the journal, Jurgi? I would, but I'm not buying this. Y you Honest would, question, Jurgi? You would what would you write in there? Yeah, what the fuck are you, your memoirs? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Why would I write my memoirs in a notebook? I don't know. I, 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 I don't know what you'd write in there. I don't know what you'd write in there. I just write things to myself every day, so... Oh, like your mind. grocery list or something? <laughs> Today, I, I mean, met yeah, a that's frog. Fair, Today, I saw a man walk down the street. I would just use my post-it notes for that, though. It's yeah, like, not a diary. <laughs> what are you writing in there, then? <laughs> It's just, like I said, I'm not even judging you. Just honest question. You pay two hundred dollars like, for I, this collector's edition, and you're just using the notebook. That's a very expensive notebook. Yeah, you I could would buy feel, one for like a buck. It's too expensive to write in. Yeah, and it's like yeah, it's, it's I mean. easily replaced by anything else from the dollar it's store. It means yeah, but like I want to remember what I did these days. So, like your schedule. <laughs> What are you, uh, a doctor's know. appointment. No, it, it can take 14th. me to a time. It'll take me to a time and a place, and I'll be like, "Oh yes, I did want to buy corn that day." <laughs> okay, you're insane. Okay, you are insane, but I kind of like the I like the corn. I'm, I'm glad you like your your empty book, a two hundred dollar <laughs> empty book. All right, I'm not judging you, but this was a great moment when he rolled up this fucking. Pencil yeah, holder, <laughs> and the, the crowd goes, Ooh. dude. The man wrapped up a piece of leather and t um, and tied I, a string. I liked it. I liked it when he said, "You could, you don't just have to use this for pencils. Use it for any long cylinder." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that too. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrap your own a hole around. Oh, what? No. Okay. So it's a then protector. he then he showed, and then no. then we were like, but surely there's more. And he's like, yes, don't worry, guys. There is more. Picks up the box. And he's like, here it is, The box folks. is cool. The box is cool, but it's the not a box is cool, item. but I'm not... That does not sway me. I mean, I, 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 it's, I appreciate it. It's a mono art, you know? We've talked about how we yeah. kind of find this a mono art to be a little weird already, but, you know... Yeah, <laughs> but I will say improvement because they made him ghostly white. That's true. It, it looks Compared good. Compared to the one. I was like, Amano, yeah. I'm sorry. You can't draw any kind of colored people ever. <laughs> also, Don't attempt ever he, again. He, yeah. 
he did repeatedly blind us at this point. Yeah, he was, oh, he was yeah. like angling it so that we would get the like glare in the, in the camera. It was funny. Um, yeah, so there you go. That is that is the collector's edition. All right. This looks like not a lot to me. I mean, it looks very like tiny little book, tiny little pencil holder of fo- in faux le- leather, and then a map, and then another warrior of light standing in bright dog feces. I mean that's it. Yes, um, but the pro- lucky thing is, Ron, the um, the little satchel thing actually has three compartments, so yeah. you can bring Ooh. your whole collection with yeah, you. Yeah, oh! yeah, all three Spoiled pencils. From choice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not, I'm sorry um, for shitting on the collector. Uh, this is from someone who buys all the collect. I have bought all the collector's editions. Look, we're point. allowed to be a little bit, you know, it, like. Uh, you know, Some people we, will use it more than others. Like, Yoki yeah, will write his uh, memoirs. But... Yeah, he's writing his memoirs. <laughs> no, no, well, if, no, but, if, the, but the thing is, I can't even buy this. Mm. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah. I, I personally enjoyed the ones where it's like, even though it may not be as significant, the Azem pen and the little Loperate thing, mm. they're kind of more in tune with what I would want. Mm. I yeah, like what? the map, but I don't mm. like the notebook as much and the, like, the leather slab. Yeah, we could. Mm-hmm. This is an idea for a future tier list we could do of just oh, like collector's merch. edition bonuses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, not merch in general. That's uh, way merch, too no. broad. No, I think merch. Fun, I'm on. No, I'm on it. Merch. Yeah, let's judge I that. Is a so long much video. <laughs> That's a long video. Uh, okay, but fourteen-hour stream would just be the merch tier list. <laughs> like, I would want to get a collector edition of fourteen, but very few of them are feel like worth it to me and i know it's like like good so it's never going to be like actual worth its money value right. but they they never really interest me like but they have things that do interest me that could easily go to collection edition remember those um the city state coins oh yeah, yeah. thing you're putting in collection edition mm-hmm. right I like that got them. Yeah. or yeah. or like i don't know playing cards i i think that's a neater thing maybe yeah I, you're right like the Moogle game cards. it really yeah feels like yeah, you're right. This is the kind. Of, yeah, <laughs> you're right. Like, it's, it's, your it's, point is too good. <laughs> I don't like again, that. Again, maybe it's just like you know Japanese sensibilities in terms of like they uh, enjoy stationary items a lot more than we do. But it's just. But how, they what should... use is all of this aside from the map and like an Rollo, ugly statue? Rollo, it's all about personalizing your salaryman lifestyle. <laughs> well, that, that's, that's the only color in your life. That's that why I'm. I'm a little. Uh, it's strange because back in 1.0, and I, I'm not sure if they also did it in a Realm Reborn, but at least in 1.0, the collector's edition were regional, like they were different from each region. Mm-hmm. Like NA, you got like a certificate, uh, like a birth, like a uh, permit, like with like an official seal from the city state, um, mm-hmm. with your character name and all your data on it. And I, th- what was the difference? Oh, EU got the 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 tumbler one, like the drink. The oh, that yeah, the shit one. Yeah. Well, it wasn't. It looks good, but if you use it, you'll die because mold yeah. grows inside. Didn't it have of lead it. or something? No, it had. Like, it, yeah, it, it was, was pure lead. <laughs> it was just made of pure <laughs> lead. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. It was. No, mold, it had a mold that. problem in the lid. Like it would. Yeah. It wasn't uh, air t- yeah. uh, water. It came pre-filled with mold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that for you guys. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how, how about how would you feel about this? If they replace the statue with whatever the mascot, like, you know, creature is in plush form, like a high quality Whoa. plush, like, if, like, in, uh, I'm not like glass expansion, you would get like a it's high quality a, Loperit or something. I don't know if I'd want it to be the same because uh, same price though, because plushies in general are oh, less yeah. expensive Cheaper. to manufacture. That's true. They, 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 they are, they are, but... I, think I would I rather would, yeah. a Loperit, like a mascot statue. A mascot, uh, statue, a mascot statue, statue, yeah. Like yeah. a collection of, like a small collection of new creatures or characters from the game in like a scene mm. or something, right? Mm. Something mm. like that. Oh, yeah, that's also true. 1.0 Collector's Edition also came with a buddy pass. Remember those? <laughs> a buddy pass? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Really? Where you, yeah, you get you give your friend like 30 days. Uh, it was like oh, a that's... recruit a friend thing. That's uh, good. Yeah. Know. Uh, okay, so um, then they um, yeah again here you go if you weren't aware uh, they they call it the well, that was only the journey. physical things though right yes that's the that's physical, only the physical mm-hmm. things. but now things are extras. about to change for the collector's edition <gasps> in-game items and this is where 
the solution nine theories might start to make more sense. Into soul nine. Into soul nine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have uh, the arc mount from Final Fantasy nine, which is a mech. Literally a mech. Uh, it's, it, well, just to damp it, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but just to damp your space, it is a reskinned cruise chaser. It is a cruise chaser. It is yes. what, I mean, the arc is what inspired cruise yeah. chaser. And it's true. at the time wondered why it was not called that. In, yes, it is true. Um, mm. uh, what's it called? In, in Alexander. Alexander. Everyone, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the minion is, of course, also Garnet. So another nine reference. And there's a chocobo brush, which is just a cute chocobo theme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has, has it time. always been chocobo items they had for like yeah. the bonus weapons? I don't know. Chocobo feel... knife for the red mage. Yeah, they had. I know they chocobo. had the, the Cecil's like helmet one for the Heaven's Word, but mm -hmm. I think from Stormblood onwards, it's been chocobo. Stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, so there yeah, you go. Yeah, last note. Storm, oh yeah, Storm 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 right. Oh yeah. okay. So, oh yeah, it's only been like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Oh yeah, yeah. Never mind. There's there is no theme. Um, okay, so um, again, they went through how digital and physical works, but also reminder to for again our hello Xbox players, if you're still uh, listening, you cannot get the collector's edition with the in-game items, and this is for Steam players too. You have to get the collector's box and PlayStation players and PlayStation mm -hmm. players. You have to get the collector's oh. box for the physical, and then you have to buy the digital collector's edition extra. You can do that on the Mog Station. Okay, mm. that's how you do that. It's very, it's okay. a little confusing. Or with but... Xbox coins. Or Xbox. And Sorry, another thing. Coins. Yes, follow. There's no physical disc. I don't want no. it anymore. That's, yeah, that era is <laughs> I mean, over. It's... It, I know it's about that as well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like it's an outdated, or I suppose the outdated, but like, like I want the game in the box. Is I that know, like I I'm agree. getting the collector's edition? Yeah, you know, I agree with yeah, you. I agree. I get it. If you don't want to make a standard copy, like physical copy, okay. It's meant to be premium. How much does it cost you to manufacture some discs? Yeah, it's probably cheap yeah. now, I would assume, but you know. I mean it will the good like, it will have the game up to now, so your patch won't be as difficult if you need to reinstall the game. Mm. Yeah, no, but that's just how that's just the world we live in. That's now. gaming now. Yeah. Don't worry, Rolly, you'll get a CD case, so it'll still use plastic, but it'll have a uh, code inside. No, there's I hate no the stupid CD case no, with the like you, you the cardboard don't, circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't get a, that at all in this. They they would have shown it in the in the picture. Sucks. So there is nothing. Yeah, it sucks. Um, so so true. And bring back uh, game time cards as well. Remember them? Do game, time have game time cards you can buy. Do like still have them. Fourteen still has game cards. I don't know if you still can. Can, yeah. can you? For, for, okay. You can. They're still around. They're it's definitely. Different. I don't think you can get them for WoW anymore. Really? Well, there you go. Uh, maybe that's going out too. Now there's they they showed the 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 system requirements again. Now we have an important update on that, and that is that the CPU minimum requirement has gone up. Because uh, the the old one was Intel uh, Core i7 six seven hundred, which is the other generation before. Yeah, it has gone up to seven seven hundred. Um, yeah, because the reason for this was that that one's not supported by Windows anymore. Windows, apparently. yeah, Windows will end mm. support for six seven hundred, so they wanted to make sure that they're in line with that. So that is a lot of people because the six hundred six thousand series super popular i think that's oh, the yeah. one that i used yeah. on my old computer so that's a lot of people that just realized they had to get a new cpu to play 14. Uh, I, yeah i would still say these are pretty meager at least minimum requirements i know you usually want to hit recommended but like an i7 7700 that's like is an amd equivalent because i feel like a lot more people have amd these days mm. um is uh a ryzen 5 like 3600 i think right which is that's a a, a pretty cheap and meager thing these days yeah uh, same thing with an rx 480 like that's not <laughs> yeah you can get those for like less than 50 bucks these days. yeah 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 i'm on a like 11 something aren't i or 10 i don't yeah. remember but yeah so yeah the 11 yeah so the yeah. i7 seven i'm on an 11 yeah. something yeah yeah so i i feel like a lot of people are kind of worrying like do i mean the minimum specs probably I mean, wait to the benchmark. Yeah, I would say, but I, mean, I don't think people. You're need... saying you're saying this as if there aren't a number of people in chat saying that they don't hit these specs. For well, them. even if you... okay, yeah. If if you're on like a fourth gen <laughs> i5, you should have upgraded a long time ago. Okay. Well, it's, it's definitely well, time. Mr. Moneybags over here. <laughs> well, now you know. Well, I will say there is a. 
upgrading your CPU now is more of a hassle than it used to be. That's why a lot of people are still on older uh, CPUs because a lot of if you go to the next generation after seven, or maybe is it, maybe it is after six. I don't remember. You have to change your motherboard. I don't remember yeah, which yeah. generation it is, but make sure it is like and that's probably going to have to do a, makes a it a lot more expensive. Yeah, yeah, so I understand. Listen, I'll give you guys a hot pro tip: just get an AM4 motherboard. Okay, they're old now. You can get some used Ryzen CPUs for fucking dirt cheap, man. I don't. You, you keep mentioning <laughs> Ryzen uh, or AMD. It's interesting that AMD is not even shown here. Well, they have it for the graphics card, but not the I CPU. Yeah. yeah, it's it's very. Strange. I guess they just expect you to go and find the equivalent yeah, for some yeah. reason. I guess so. Like I said, it's a bit, bit for, for nice. that i7, it's like an RX, or sorry, um, Ryzen 5 3600. Okay. This is posted earlier. Do we have the prices for the collect the? We don't have them in here, but we can. But we can read them. No. We can read them. Like Do you have really them? Involved. Oh no! Yeah. No, it's, it was posted in chat. I was asking if that was confirmed. No, that is confirmed. It's on the website. They, oh, okay. They have I posted on the sorry. website. Um, do we want to talk about the prices now, real quick? Because I believe it was. Um, yeah. I don't have them in front of me, so if you have it, Gary, then uh, it would be easier. If you... Yeah, yeah. It's thirty nine nine. Well, the, only the American price. Thirty nine ninety nine USD for the standard edition. Fifty nine ninety nine for the digital collectors. One hundred and fifty five dollars for just the collectors box, and two hundred and fourteen ninety nine for the collectors edition. Is that the standard, right? I think that's what the last prices were for, or at least for the collector edition. I think it was close um, to that for the other one. Yeah, yeah. Plus, that's um, the same price as this last time. Yeah, that's so that makes, hard to justify. Yeah, for, that yeah. makes it ostensibly yeah. cheaper than last time, Rollo, because money is worth less. Uh, wow. Uh, I just, I well, understand collector editions will not have their actual money value because you're just getting because you like it, but. I'm a super fan of this game. I love this game. How do they, can they not entice me with the collector's edition? You know, it's, <laughs> it's a feat. Wrong one. Yeah, it's just it's not. It's uh, not the, the collector's editions for this game I'm most interested in are the two I don't have. Mm. They had more unique statues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, moving on from that, back to the system requirements. Other than that, there's no other change. Um, other than was uh, it more RAM that they added? They, they wanted to make it 16. Well, I mean, as far as the new requirements go for this expansion in general. I don't know if this was... I, mean, I think they were announced that previously, yeah, the, right? The yeah, that's a pre... Uh, yeah. Everything else here was previously announced. Yeah, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. no. Okay, and then they showed Mac system requirements, which is also interesting. I don't know what this shit means. No, I, so, I, and I realized when I looked at this, like, this means nothing to me. Um, they have... Well, it was interesting <laughs> that the minimum system requirements for the disk is... It has to be an SSD on Mac. Well, I think they do, you do, you can't get spin drive spinning drives on on a Mac anymore. I see. Yeah, the resolution also isn't the same because for the minimum because it was 720p. Yeah. That's true. The, they don't do that, 720p so on on they, Mac. Only 900p. Max, yeah. yeah, Max do 1440 right. one Yeah, I I the Mac ecosystem seems so terrifying and scary. It is. I couldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it's it's the it's the version names for me that scares me the most. Monterey yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm glad, they have the, I'm glad they have the number next to it at least because yeah. that would mean yeah. nothing. Yeah. You on um, Monterey? <laughs> no, I'm on Sonoma. <laughs> what? Uh, okay, and then uh, pre-order items is a, a wind-up Sidon and a Zayma's earring. So again, Sidon earrings again. Another nine reference, mm. and then a Zayma's earrings for the leveling. I'm surprised it was another member of the twelve. Maybe that's yeah. just the, what they're going to go for from now on. For Might, the, means they don't have to think too hard for the, the next like ten pre-order edition. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that these you will get these the moment pre-orders go live. You'll get them in yes. your mog mail. So this is very useful if you haven't leveled all your jobs yet. This earring will help you level very yeah. fast. So uh -huh. I will say these are actually very like nice design wise. Like the Crystarium ones were kind of. Eh. I liked the yeah. Crystarium one. I liked the, the Etherite really? one. Yeah, I, I thought it was too. Yeah, I, but it's a lot. Weird. It's a lot. This yeah. one is beautiful too. I would agree. That this, this one's, one's nice. very nice. Yeah, I, I liked that one. Yeah, that one, and I actually really liked the Alan Megan earrings too. Yeah, they were cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm, and the Menfina ones. 
They were kind of. I like them in Fable. It almost ones, has yeah. like okay, a. I like it, all of them. it almost has a Star Trek reference, but almost like a Bajoran vibe with that like chain. It does have a little Bajoran. Oh yeah, yeah. I see yeah. what you mean. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, and then of course early access. Uh. To Dawn Trail. 28th uh, right. of June. We, we already know that, but... Um, uh, I don't like this man mm-hmm. looking at me. It feels it's too intimate. Yeah, yeah. next slide, please. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Uh, all right, pre-orders. Yeah, we talked about the white hair jump often. scare during the, <laughs> yeah. during the it's, it's, yeah, presentation. It's too, yeah. too much. <laughs> it's too, too high res, too close. Um, okay, the 26th of March. That's on Tuesday. Uh, moving on. Um, the uh, There's a crossover as, as well, of course. Uh, uh, for Final what? Fantasy 16. Um, Yay! Wow. Has he even got well, permission? He has he got permission from the producer of Final Fantasy 16? <laughs> Get stop with this bit, Yoshi. Yeah, he did. Please. He did the. I bit know again. it's funny. <laughs> I, it's the only joke no he has. more. Yeah, it's funny. I'm. Honestly, Rodo, I'm in tears every time. I'm slapping are my you, knees. Are you ruffling? <laughs> I'm ruffling. <laughs> I'm ruffle the mowing. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so um, on the uh, it starts on April second uh, and lasts until August fifth. Um, the sixteen crossover uh, with fourteen. Um, that is it. What, August fifth. What do you get? Oh, did, did they not say what you get? No, they will. We already know what we be. got. They've revealed oh, that already. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's already out. Yeah, like a toggle mountain, a toggle minion. Mm. Yeah. And yeah, that's well, it. You need a lot of MGP, by the yeah. way, guys. Yeah, it's not until August oh, 5th. Yeah. It's until June 8th. And we Sorry, had like... May 8th. You see? <laughs> We're, it's all fucked. Why oh, can't yeah. we all agree on how dates work? Mm-hmm. It starts on the 2nd of April and the uh, ends on the 8th of <laughs> God, May. please. I'm European, no. okay? I read it the other way around. I struggle. Uh, yeah. The only uh, time American dates work for me is when it's like... The twelfth. This looks to me like it's like it starts on the fourth of February, lasts until the fifth of yeah. August, twenty twenty four. Look, you, why can't you just respect my culture? I, I'm like, trying, what, what but this? I forget, so I slip. I slip. I got the April thing right. Uh, um, I simply don't want to, Rolly. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, okay. Yeah, get your MGP. You need a lot. Yeah, you event. need a lot. If you but you've had everything. so long already since we warned you originally. Yeah, it's like four hundred k, I think, to get everything. Don't you dare say yeah. that's not much, Gyogi, because there are some people who no, are very MGP stuff. that's star. not what I was going... That's not what I was going to say. I was going to say that... did Have they confirmed that all the rewards are coming from MGP? It's Remember, not all of them, the f- but all, all the... Um, have the they music. confirmed that, or are these things that people are no. saying... Be- Illegal data mind is illegal right. content roll out. Illegal you can content. Listen, Garland Tools shows it, whatever it's mm, in there. Well, that's... Okay, if it's on Garland Tools, then... Yeah. Um, okay. um, the other thing I was going to say is that I was lying when I said that Rollo can't do this because it spoils Final Fantasy 16. He says that it's specifically designed so you can do this without worrying about being spoiled for 16. There you go. Because obviously, if you're a PC only player, you wouldn't have had a chance to play it. Right. Yeah. Right. I think he should have spoiled it. I think, I think he should have as well. Yeah. Well, he has said in the past that they do want to do another crossover afterwards that may oh. be more spoilery. You don't need to do a second one. How much are you milking your crossovers with 16? I have not had two crossovers. They can have no. more than one crossover per game. Ah, uh, I want like big spoilers. I want like Oh my god, hot steamy scene happens in in 16 and I yeah, Clive, I fucked. <laughs> <laughs> that's what i want to happen in this event i want him to tell me with that. the war of light yeah yeah i don't know if that happens in 16 I've, i'm probably i'm making shit but up he fucks but... the warrior of light no that doesn't happen <laughs> that didn't happen but in my <laughs> own uh okay well anyways thanks for watching everyone that's the show um we'll be back next week same time same place uh remember to follow okay i remember Remember to follow us on Twitter at speakersxiv, twitch.tv slash speakersxiv, uh, exclamation oh. Discord and chat if you're watching on, uh, which if you're watching live, if you're watching on demand links in the description, it threw everything off. <laughs> Remember to send us mogmail, <laughs> speakersxiv.com slash mogmail, uh, and I guess if you're watching on Twitch, youtube.com slash speakersxiv. See, we never do the, oh, the YouTube yeah. thing. Uh, yeah. All right, uh, that's it. For, and if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe. See, the yes. button glows now. 
All right. That's Check out you later, everyone. Plays as well. <laughs> Check out speakers plays because we have uh, we we rank um, we rank. Bye. We, rank. We're, we are ranked. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>